Hello, everybody. I think I'm ready to get started. So, normally I talk about when we're done with the first session. Let's go to Let's Chat real quick about, you know, my thoughts and feelings about the game so far. And I feel like if I were to summarize it in one word, the word is confusion. Can I tell you, chat, for this game alone, there are so many damn misinf like misinformed, poor advice, whatever you want to call it. Welcome, Burton, for this game. I don't think I have ever seen such like a, a wealth of misinformation on a game before. Like my brain actually hurts trying to process just like a simple question. Like I, I can't think of any other game I've played or maybe other people in chat can relate where something as simple as what a stat does is completely <laughs> at odds at every single post about this game. It's amazing. It's actually phenomenal. So I, I think that's uh, I think that's where we can leave it. I'm confused about how to feel about it. We'll revisit this question, how I feel about the game after this session. I think I'll, I'll firm up some of the things. So what do I mean by that for people that haven't played Trials of Mana before? So as I am now learning, <laughs> There are certain stat minimums in order to learn spells. They are not necessarily related to the damage that they scale off of. So I need to potentially level a lot in spirit, which will determine the strength of buffs, for example. Whereas intelligence sounds like that would be spell damage, except it's not for the character but it also is still needed because there is a minimum number of intelligence to learn spells. Convoluted chat. <laughs> the word convoluted comes to mind for sure. So this is going to be definitely an interesting playthrough without sitting there and looking at like 5 million charts, which we're going to try to avoid. So anyway, chat, <laughs> that, that was the headache right before I was starting the stream. I was like, I literally saw 30 different opinions in the span of about 20 sources. And I don't really know which ones are accurate. I'm going to have to just do one. Please mute Charlotte. No. Calvisha, I'm like, like, do you know what I'm talking about? Spirit intelligence? There are so many posts about what those do which ones are needed, what the minimum stats are for spells. It's crazy. I have never seen such like disorganization before. I think that does speak to the game's fault, if nothing else. If I can get such wildly different answers, like what is a core stat for a caster? That's not good. I would just like to state that is really not good. How unclear it is, both in the game and from the guide and from manuals and whatever. Like, that's crazy. But anyway, I'm gonna go pause. So I will I will form an opinion again at the end of this session, but I will say for now, thank you, SSJ255, for following. You're wide open! Let us jump back into things. No, Calvisham, see, you wrote that, but that's not true. That's what I'm talking about, Calvisham. That's not true. That's what I'm talking about. No. See, I'm going to ask you an easy question, Calvisham. What, do, what damage type is summons? If you say intelligence, you're wrong, according to many sources, which is magic damage, but it's like magic damage asterisk. There's a lot of things that fall into other categories. That's what I'm talking about. It's not that. <laughs> and there are there are damaging spells in this game that are based off of spirit, like that all the holy spells, for example, use spirit, according to more than one source. Yeah. I'm not talking about we're not here to talk about the remake, Calvisham. That's that's a separate playthrough. No 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 no. This old game is like wow, I have no I have never seen such confusion as to what stats do. Open. Like ever. It's actually crazy. Anyway, let's jump into things. Yeah, and I, I don't know if it's because people are quoting the remake and that's why there's so much more confusion than normal. 
but like holy was it really unclear just checking the even simple info so i guess even if i level intelligence and it's not used for rise i still apparently need intelligence to unlock her summon question mark so who knows <laughs> just, i'm gonna shrug on that one yeah because apparently her summon stuff also counts towards that I've been the Bonnade. Yeah. Ah. Uh. <laughs> it scared me with the level up. Okay, I'm gonna put a point in strength because I need more damage. There we go. Yeah, but the thing is, like, too, like, what do some of the spells even count as? Again, I saw very mixed things, whether or not summons did intelligence or spirit. It's just, like, these are the kinds of things, like, if you're trying to get into an RPG, this should not be ambiguous. I'm sorry, this is just, there are certain things, you know, I'm willing to do as, like, a newer player for a game, but, like... Basic stats? That's crazy that you don't know what you don't know which ones are important. Like seriously, I saw people like with they have like their whole formulas and charts and all the forums and they're like all wrong. <laughs> all of them. <laughs> Every damn one of them is wrong. I'm like not a single one matched. It's crazy. I'm not even sure I have the right source for all this stuff. <laughs> Well, anyway, what I want to do is I want to reset. I'm going to go over here. We killed the Jewel Beast. I don't recall if we were looking to do anything else. I don't think so. Oh, yeah, speaking of which, I thought of something earlier. If all I'm going to be doing is running from... Fine, I'll open up a chest. You happy? You happy game? If all I'm doing is just running from combat, which is what I'm doing, I should probably just play as Charlotte and let the other characters melee. Welcome in Parameter. So all I wanted to do was use the end, to be honest with you. Okay, check my gold count. Gold count looks super good. Yeah... I will state before we go on thoughts and feelings with the game, I will be I will be very brutally honest. I'm not a fan of the combat of this game. I was I was hesitant whether I wanted to wait till the end of the session to talk about it, but since I went back here to heal and we're backtracking anyway, let me talk about why I don't think I'm a fan of this game's combat in comparison at least to the other ones in the series. So like, if I'm just walking around, I'm holding B to run and I'm hitting A on the controller, right, to attack. But the thing is, like, if I hit A over here, I could just mash it. There's no timing. Spacing is not really relevant. I'm not really punished for just button mashing. For the most part. And I feel like some of the problem with that is like, whilst games like Secret of Mana and Final Fantasy Adventure had their issues, I feel where this game really kind of slipped up here, and I feel like it's really evident when I'm backtracking here. If I just hold attack, the game will play itself. I don't find that super interesting. Like, let's talk about, like, what... Like, Secret of Mana is a very flawed game, for example, but, like, where it really sh shined, like, in comparison to this game in particular is, like, the uniqueness of, like, the attack angles and the fact that my positioning mattered. I can literally just hold the attack button here, and the game will just win for me. I don't even have to time anything, the game will literally just play itself. And that kind of takes me out of the combat, so for me I'm just gonna like fast forward through combat where I can. Where applicable, I just hold left until I leave combat. <laughs> just like, I don't really care, like oh no I missed, bye. I don't feel like that satisfaction of like the overhead swings or like being able to choose different weapon types against different enemies or being able to like multi-hit with things like the whip and the boomerang 
in Secret of Mana, like, again, they improved the game in a lot of ways, but I feel like in some ways they really, really went backwards here. It's kind of like playing Final Fantasy Adventure also with only one weapon type, and I think the game really suffers for it. I think this is the only Mana game, at least that I've played, or that I'm aware of, where you can't swap your weapon type at any point. I believe that is true. Because even in things like Legend of Mana, you could at least change your main weapon and things like that. In Final Fantasy Adventure, you could change it to Secret Mana again. But this one, I'm kind of stuck to like a bad weapon type for a couple of the characters that I'm not really a fan of. And it's like, uh, you know, there's no charge attacks. There's no concept of like heavy and light attacks. Maybe like some other games do it. So I feel like they took away my ability... Oh, that guy ran from me. They took away my ability to kind of choose what weapons I think suited the scenario, or if there's like weapon weaknesses, for example. And they left me with like this auto... I'll call it like auto attack range. This game kind of reminds me of like East 1 and 2 with the bump combat, because like literally I'm so like AFK with the combat in this game compared to the others. Which I'm not a fan of, as I mentioned before. So, if, if it's like East 1 and East 2, I'm just gonna go straight to the plot. I'd prefer not to grind. There's nothing inherently wrong with it, per se, but I feel like if you're gonna do a combat like that, then the story really, 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 really needs to carry hard. Because for me, like, gameplay is like at least 60% of the game. Story is nice, but I'll re if I really like a game, I will replay the game to death regardless of story. Whereas like right now, it's like I'll do it for the sake of seeing the story, but I think that's to the extent of the replayability for this. Uh, that's right, we already got the equipment here. So it's like kind of one of those things. I, I really wish... I like the concept of like building up the stamina and unleashing like a super attack, for example. Why is he running from me? Just get away. Off to work I go. Welcome to Dwarf Village. Just looking to see if we missed any dialogue. Yeah, we never came across another character, right? Let me check something quickly. Yeah, I learned the different heal magics. Needs a haircut doesn't have any new abilities still. Okay, was there something I forgot to do, or did I accidentally not save us defeating Jewel Beast or something weird? Uh, how do I check my plot items? Not this button. I just want to see, did we get the item from the door? I thought we did last time. We did. Okay. Okay, I'm just making sure. So there's no extra dialogue for coming back to the door village, sadly. I guess I could have saved at the inn and then just reset. Technically, I guess to save myself some time here. I was wondering if something special would happen if we came back. But it looks like nothing is happening here, which is a bit of a shame. Not every game necessarily needs to update the NPCs when you complete something major. It's just kind of a nice touch. But as I said before, since I'm just going to be like autopiloting, escaping basically every combat, I might as well just con control Charlotte and let the game play itself. At least for now. I think what I would have liked is, even though it's still very much turn-based, and Secret of Mana was very much like that as well, I don't feel like... Because of the fact that it's kind of like a, a detect... A, a detect range, whether or not I'm in range, it kind of takes away the skill of the combat. Also, there's nothing I could do about that. So, like, I'm not standing at, like, diagonals, I'm not abusing rocks to hit through targets. Because everything's a lot closer in terms of, like, your attack range compared to, like, the very overly generous arcs of, like, Secret of Mana. And you don't have, like, the necessarily the weapon elemental weaknesses of FFA. I'm not really thinking about combat at all. Which I think is a shame, because I said before, 
I'm very much into combat. So I can already feel myself leaning towards saying I don't want to do another playthrough of this specific version of the game, but I'm more than willing to try, I think, the remake. I definitely think this will help give a good baseline, just see like how much they improved the system, how much they kept it the same, even if we don't use the same characters. Or who knows, maybe chat wants to see a variation in the story when we get to play with these characters in the remake. I will say I'm really missing the ability to run here. Cool. I love being hit by unblockables. It's my favorite. So anyway, we're gonna ignore combat. We're gonna let the game play itself. If they want to get kills, whatever. I was gonna ban Charlotte. We'll pick Charlotte just for Calvisham. I already love Charlotte. Yeah, like, I think, like, in terms of plus things, I'm not, like, stunlocked like I would have been in Secret of Mana when I get hit by enemies. But at the same time, I don't know. I just don't feel like any combat or even just getting around enemies is very strategic. I can't run. It, if I'm in range, I'm going to hit. The game will auto-correct my distance kind of things. Oh, do I have to talk to him to give it? Okay. I thought he would come out if we went to the cannon. Let's talk to him here. Mm, who are you people? You go and see why, old man. We got Nitro Might for you. Oh, right. I didn't forget. I just couldn't remember. So, uh, what's that Nitro Might for again? I'm kidding. I remember now. It's from my revamped cannon, right? Head to the backyard and I'll meet you there. So, yeah, we'll see. Like, I'm trying to be very fair to the combat of this game, but, like, I'm literally just comparing it to its own series. I don't think I could get more fair with combat comparisons, and those games came before this one, so I feel like my criticism towards this is especially valid. I'm not saying, like, oh, why didn't they make it, like, Act Razor or Soul Blazer or whatever. <laughs> like, I'm literally pointing to other games in their own entries prior to this one. Anyway, let's see what he says now. Wind shear check, targeting check. Locked on to Valsina. Ready? Sure, I'm ready. So, from what I recall, there are still bugs involving spells. But until we get to the point where... I get offensive spells, I don't think it's super worth it. I mean, I guess I could try to showcase it, just to showcase the chat. Oof, that was not pleasant. Where are we? Old Bear Morris. Okay, so you can't do anything there. Like, technically, I think I could chain healing if I really wanted to. Next time I get really injured, I'll go for it. Character zooming in via airstrike, pretty much. Welcome, Kerr. Mmm. This looks like a maze. Chat knows I love mazes and puzzles and games. They're definitely my favorite mechanic. Hopefully, it just goes straight to the next area. Okay. Mercifully, it does not go underground, unlike games like Terranigma, which would have made me go through a series of platforms. Okay, let's try this one. Like how we investigate the statue and we just say, huh? Hmm. I'm not entirely sure where to go first. This looked like this would lead back to the room we saw earlier. Thank you, Chris, for resubscribing. Hopefully you're doing well. I think I can almost showcase what I wanted to show off. Next time in combat, I'm gonna do it. It's very likely we're gonna level here, which is where I want to take advantage of my uh, abilities anyway. Ah. And he's been sense of storage. Let me show something. Let's see if I could do it. 
Oh, I can't do it if I'm... Maybe I can't do it if I'm the lead character. Let me let me switch who's casting the spell here to showcase something. Oh, I have to hit L. That's right. I can look at the top portion of the UI to let me know which one it is. So if I do Lenith, and then I do this again, and then I just wait... Like, see how I can't select her yet? I, I skip all the casting animation for the spell, just so chat is aware there. Like, normally, I'll show it one more time. If I just cast it and hold still, look at the difference. So I can skip about a second, second and a half of the casting animation, technically, because it can be triggered during uh, the, the menu. So technically, I just cheated. Just want you all to know. It's pretty much impossible for me to avoid that if I'm looking to do multiple spells. You're gonna have to live with the chat. <laughs> it's it's going to happen. People have probably done it unintentionally. It's really not hard to do. It's literally just any time you need to heal more than once or spam items. That kind of stuff comes out. Spin. Is it a, as glitchy mess? Um... It's glitchy, but I would say in not as fun ways. I think that's the best way to describe it. There's a lot of things in this game that don't really work as intended, and therefore they're just kind of a waste of time if you use them. Why are there so many holes? Okay, since I do actually want to attack, I will very vaguely dodge with Durin. So we have all these like little pathways, but like what's the point of this? Go upwards for now. I'm basically just looking for town and or optional dungeon. Because I could live with it. Yeah, it's just one of those things. Like it's 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 not as entertaining uh, to abuse, for sure. Just kind of like the necessary evil. Notice my damage is kind of low, which is unfortunate. And see, like there, I missed my special. I'm not even punished. I just use it again. I feel like the game at least made me aim my own special. I feel like I would feel more satisfied with the combat. The fact I just get like infinite retries is just silly to me. It's like a little too casual friendly. My level strength. I'm gonna guess by it not blinking, the answer is no. So eventually I need to level spirit on this character, but since he doesn't have spells yet, I'm just gonna level stamina. At some point, he will need it for his own magic. Like this is the closest I come to active combat, I just vaguely get out of range of the enemy. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and use a random candy on Lenith. She's probably most in danger of dying. I had a strong feeling that would be a candy. What happened? Hang on, Haltina of Ages attacked. His Majesty is in danger. What? Oh, I wish I had some of those spells. That would be fun. Rip Soldier, though. Lenith and the others finally made it to the Kingdom of Alcina, only to find it decimated by Altanish forces. Oh, the blur walk. Crimson Wizard says, Well done! Release the magical creatures into the castle and fall back for now. Yes, sir! Oh wow, he's got the power of no-clip chat. We never stood a chance. Wait, are you seriously just gonna force me into the castle right now? That's kind of rude. This is just as terrible as the attack on Laurent. We must stop them before it's too late. Can I can I go back? No. Well, I guess I I guess we're just going straight into battle. It's kind of unfortunate to be honest with you. I will heal in case I get into a serious battle before a full heal statue. 
I will take this opportunity to go to, into our storage and put a candy back in. Which I will say, that is like, there there are a lot of positives about the game when it comes to the menus. I just feel sadly combat is generally not one of them. They fixed getting stun locked, but the overall feel of the combat I think took a really big hit, which is unfortunate. Okay, the heal save. I wasn't sure if there would be a fight between us and the heal, because there could just be a heal, there could be a regular statue that doesn't heal us, but the game had mercy this time. So we will also praise them for giving you somewhat fair healing statues. And again, coming from the previous games, I'm not expecting them. Ah, oh, get healed the mana statue. Don't worry about me, go protect the king. Oh wow, they actually acknowledge that. That's kind of funny. So what happens if I go over here? Oh, no matter what, there's a healing statue. Okay, they really want to make sure that you don't miss it. That's fair. Uh, so our MP's back, so we have a lot of heals with Charlotte. I will try not to do the thing where we glitch our healing too often. Uh, the Chest Knight is a classic enemy in this game. We'll be seeing a lot of that enemy in the near future. In the next game, that is. So we'll kill what we need to on the way there to make sure we're not underleveled. Man, I would have loved a run button here. Uh, I guess I could check the inner doors before we go to the top. Maybe they have some treasures. I'm not expecting to hit level 9 or anything here. I'm at least level with the enemies that are here. So I feel like I'm about the right level for this area. You won! Yeah, one thing you might have noticed is that there aren't really crits in this game. I think in theory they exist, but they're not programmed properly. So we don't see like blah 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 has been whacked. Yeah. Did I seriously miss my super attack? It's unfortunate. In theory, I should be opening these chests with the character with the highest luck. But it's fine. Man, this thing is really hard to kill. Uh, slightly too slow on the heal. That's unfortunate. Oh, she came back at 1 HP. I thought she was at 0 for a second. Oh, she was. The game was just trolling. Really? Another one? Well, I think we could decidedly say that was not worthwhile. So sadly, I think I'm going to get into some trouble here, going back for healing. Oh, hey, new enemy types. It's kind of neat that they let you fight new things. I'm really surprised she hasn't died. So let's just go back and heal. Pfft, as I get bonked. So I want to see what's in those alternate rooms before we go further. Like, clearly going to the top of the castle will lead to progress. I'm just curious if we'll get any, like, guaranteed items or something interesting here. On the plus side, I like that she comes back at 1 HP. I think that's to avoid getting into cutscene stun locks. Where, like, you go into a cutscene and all your characters are potentially dead, like that happened in Secret of Mana. So that way I don't need to spam Cup of Wishes. Which is not my favorite part of Secret of Mana, for sure. They punted her. Indeed, they did. See, a Polter Box just seems like a big waste of time to fight. I think next time I'll just run by them. I, I wasn't sure how much XP they gave, but the time spent fighting them and damage dealt, so far not worth it. Maybe when we get spells later, they might be worth it. 
Also, another thing I guess to talk about, I don't think there are like spell levels like there were in Secret of Mana. So there's not really a whole point in like using spells outside of combat other than hopefully they're faster than melee. So I, I don't really have an incentive to do things other than just let them auto attack, sadly. Oh, that is really unfortunate, actually. So close to the exit. Let's play Charlotte. Let them auto attack for us. Bye. I mean, fine, I'll kill these guys. They're in my way. Hmm. I need our allies to be more aggressive here, please. See, the problem is now they've gotten Duran really injured because they're not being aggressive enough. It's all that just to reach this door. There we go. Oh, they can actually hit them from up there. That's interesting. Um... Can't get stamina. I guess I can level... Since spirit can't level and stamina can't level, let's level strength. I mean, we do enough auto attacks. This should be fun. Oh, so all that just circled back to here? Oh, that's kind of unfortunate. Hmm... Not a big fan of that. Also, I need to remember, different ring menu for this game. I should be doing this one if I want to. Alright, so what I'm gonna do is... Hop into here, take another candy from storage, because we have a lot of them. I have a throwable weapon, I haven't decided when I'm gonna use it. I do want to get rid of it at some point, I don't think it's worth selling. But anyway, let's go here now, since all doors seem to go to the same way. Ugh. She's fainted. So far has not super been worth exploring. I'm just curious what happens if we come over here. I was wondering why I wasn't allowed to move for a bit. So at some point I need to level her spirit. I would have leveled strength. Let's let's get a little bit of spirit now so she can unlock stuff. Ooh. That was interesting. So this is just a side room. There's no treasure in it. Oh. That is unfortunate. Let's candy ourselves. Well, I did go up a level, I guess. So in some ways, I'm preparing for the boss. I'm assuming there's nothing of interest over here, but I'm just gonna rule it out real quick. I'm just gonna rule it out. Not worth fighting. That is also the downside of having fights like this. It would have been nice if those actually had real treasures on the side. Crimson Wizard says, Hmm, behold, even the Hero King is powerless when paralyzed by magic. You must be the Crimson Wizard of Altina. Why would Valda, the true queen, mount this cowardly attack on Valsina? She seeks to control the Mana Stones and thought it best to destroy Valsina before retaliation. Her Majesty is not troubled by past alliances. A pity. That is all you wish to ask? Dot dot dots. So be it. Take this. Stop. Oh no, he's too cool for us. He's teleporting. You again. This interference will not be forgotten. Until next time. Wait. Ugh, not again. Stay here and fight, you coward. 
You won't get away, Crimson Wizard. So I think we found, like, the rival for at least one of them there, which is kind of funny because we didn't really get introduced to them because we didn't play as those other characters first, but whatever. Need a haircut says, stay safe, your majesty. Need a haircut. Have you returned? Talk to the guards real quick. Oh, <laughs> can't do that. They're busy being dead, apparently. Oh. Your Majesty, we're searching for the elementals that reside near the monastones of the world. Please, tell us where to find this kingdom stone. Fairy, I see. Met one of your kind when I stood against the Dragon Lord. In truth, I was chosen by that fairy. You what? Sadly, that fairy was cut down at the hands of the Dragon Lord. I was spared. The fairies have come to our realm again. This bodes ill for the world. Chris, love in the name, needs a haircut. Eight monastones exist in the world. The powers of earth, water, fire, wind, light, darkness, the moon, and wood. Oh, I guess that's Dryad. Originate from these stones. You will find the elemental spirits of each living nearby. We've already located the elementals of Light Lumina and the Earth Gnome. Hey, yo. How you doing? Six remain. You must travel to Palo Port by boat from Vizier. From there, you can reach Lorenz Monastone. It is the Windstone. Oh. Thank you, Your Majesty. We will find the stones. You need Silphid's wind powers in order to find the remaining stones. Return once you have found him. Safe travels to you all. So we will say... Well, we're going to try to be fair, because it's very criticism heavy in the beginning of the session. I am liking that the dialogue is generally a lot more advanced. You could feel like, in particular, this translation just feels cleaner than the other one. There's more text spoken per character. And I feel like the depth of the characters is also improved. So we'll, 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 try to, we'll try to point those out when we come across those. <laughs> Yay! We saved the king and everybody in the kingdom's dead. Yeah, we did it. Bon voyage. Oh, you mean my older brother. I'm Von Jour. I you want to get back to Maya, but hang on. Still setting up my brother's invention. All right, so we're gonna lock fast travel here eventually. And I can just walk through here. R, R. Beware the guard dog. I guess I should investigate the barrels in case there's items, I guess. It's possible I missed some collectibles here and there, as I said before. They are technically existing in this game. People's lives are 99% destiny. The rest of your future is up to you to decide. We call that 1% hope. What's that face for, huh? Why not getting a reading from this old fortune teller? She yawns. Nothing is coming to me. It's never happened. All I see is a fairy creature flooding around. Yeah, a fairy like that. Ah, oh my, are you a real fairy? It's my fault. It's impossible to divine the future of a person possessed by a fairy. There's nothing wrong with your gift. Give me a cold sweat. I think I should rest for today. Close the door on your way out. I made like a little skit there. We'll, we'll give them that, I guess. Love our AI people totally confused. Oh, I can't weed this. Wait, what if I do it as a different character? The mana tree. Oh, so she... Wait, hold on. Interacting with objects actually changes per character? That's actually really interesting. Also, I'd just like to state, I'm pretty sure Charlotte has, like, really high intelligence, but she can't read. What does that say for the rest of our party chat? <laughs> Sealed away at the heart of our world is the Sanctuary of Mana. In the center stands the Mana Tree, resting place of our protector, the Goddess of Mana. <laughs> this one is special! Benevidens. Benevidens. Earth, Land, Umbar, Wind, Dangard, Fire, Zanbi. I should probably write these down. 
So that way I know which element I'm going against. I'm not entirely sure what the opposite of each other is. Like, is wind the opposite of earth, maybe? I mean, fire, fire and undine would make the most sense for being opposed to each other. Water is... Fiegmund. Moon should be opposite, I imagine, would be dark. I don't know what the opposite of Dryad is. Light is Light Gazer. Well, I feel like it gave itself away on that one. Yeah, yeah, whatever, Windows. Dark is... Nothing is written about the last one. Guess the rest of the party needs to crack open a book? Maybe. Naughty Novel? Oops! What happens if I read it with her? They all just oops. Monster Manual. It's information on everything from rabbis to mushrooms. Some monsters are described in an ancient language. Can't read it. Can somebody read it? Hmm. I wonder if I had brought Angela here, if I would have gotten more information, because she's a mage. Mysteries of the Monostones. They're full of mystery. Wow, that was, uh... Switching classes. Classes. Hidden power of some monostones is the ability to draw out the latent abilities of adventurers seeking to switch their classes. Experience di di dictates when they can change classes without a specified level of battle experience. 18 for class 2, 30 for class 3. The adventurer cannot switch. Class 3 is the highest possible class. Its power is so great. The Master Grand Kwai sealed it away. Without a certain magical item, one cannot unlock the class. Okay. This is the Falsina Royal Library. Uh, well, I mean, at least the game explained one of its mechanics. I did mention that very briefly in the first session. Strange to see these flowers bloom at this time of year. Seems like a bad omen to me, but who knows? So in some of the inns, there's like little potted plants. We need to plant a seed there when we're ready to upgrade to another class, but those won't drop for some time. So it's kind of like punishing you for leveling in a way where you don't really get a benefit of power leveling before you get a class upgrade. Saw some sort of cannon in the courtyard of the castle. Wonder what it's for. No, you didn't. It wasn't there earlier. I'll never forgive Altina for their spineless attack on our kingdom. What do you have to say, bartender? Welcome. Take a seat. You're the ones who saved the hero king. I vow to keep... I vow to keeping him safe. Yeah, you did a good job there. There once was a time no country would dare think of invading the mighty Valsina. R R. Oh, does that say anything if I investigate this? No. Interestingly, talking to the poster makes the dog make a noise. Not really sure why that is. I'm clearly not facing them. That stinks a little bit. Some when do they keep asking about the cannon? The cannon's not there. You're all fibbing to me. You're all lying liars. The dog growls at me. Your father, the Golden Knight Loki, was struck down by the Dragon Lord while protecting his majesty. I know you can live up to his name. So I guess we finally learn more about our character, more specifically, Durin. So what happens if I talk to them as, uh... Her. What does she say? The Golden Knight Loki was struck down while defending the Hero King from dragons. Now that's the stuff of legends, let me tell you. Okay. So their dialogue does change depending on which character we have first. Some of them don't, though. Again, that's it's interesting. We'll, we'll give it points for that. Alright, let's... Possibly get upgrades here if they're significant. Otherwise, I'll skip. So we have a ton of cash. Uh, not impressed by that defense increase. Can we get a little better attack power, please. Wow. It's the same weapons? 
Seriously? All of them are the same? Alright, I'm not gonna lie, so far chat, shops are getting a solid F. We have seen the same equipment in more than one town at this point, come on. I don't care if you have older equipment and you have like op- Oh. Something happened there. Sorry, not in there. This is my house. When I left, I promised I wouldn't come back until I defeated the Crimson Wizard. Understood. Hope you can fulfill your pledge soon. I'll help as much as I can. Uh, right. So, we got more plot. So there's that, I suppose. I might as well as use the end to heal. Yeah, this little thing I'm talking about here, we don't have any seeds for it. So Monaday, I can rest free of charge. So essentially, I didn't really talk about this before, but from my understanding, when there is a element, and it's like Gnome Day or Luna Day, those spells corresponding to that element are buffed. Mana Day, nothing is buffed, but ends are free. So that's my understanding of how the system works. Chat can correct me if, if I am wrong. This guy also has something to purchase. Oh, he's just like the generic merchant. Um... Wait, Fairy and Walnut is only 50? Oh, I'm just gonna max this then. Don't mind me, just preparing for boss battles ahead of time. So I can't get the Stardust because I have too many items. Let's throw our throwing axe away at some point. So from my understanding, oh, that's not what I wanted to do. From my understanding of how the game works, we will be getting potentially temporary buffs. So if I would like to... What's the point of the Nitro Blade? I'm just going to put this in storage then. So in order to kind of give me the ability to buff or debuff regardless of my class pick, I can spend money to get abilities that I didn't get from leveling the characters. Which I guess is kind of a fair way to say like even if you don't know the classes, you at least have a chance of defeating enemies that might require these kinds of buffs and debuffs. Anyway, time to play a Charlotte again. I'm gonna say adios to these enemies. I'm just curious what happens if I keep going this way. Is there something new I can explore? Well, this puts me on the other side of the bridge, right? Is the bridge gonna be repaired or no? No. That's unfortunate. <laughs> I was hoping it would be like the dwarves are like, hey, we fixed the bridge while you're gone. Here's a shortcut. Alas. Wow, did you see me skip that entire area? I was like, no thanks. <laughs> right, chat? No thanks. I'll do an occasional attacks to force our allies to be aggressive, I guess. Might as well get some cheap XP while I'm here. Don't really need the treasure chests. Okay, so let's see if the cannon is quote-unquote ready or not. If it is, I would like to take it. Otherwise, I'm not entirely sure how we're going to get back. If we can't go through Stone Split Gap to go back to that area. Oh, now they're ready. Uh, so now, now the cannon is ready. I guess we just had to wait a day or something for it to fix itself. So question, is he gonna let us go to the next area or is he just gonna offer to take us back to the castle? That's what I wanna learn here.
No, so he only has one destination. So it's not like Secret of Mana where the cannon people potentially allowed for more than one destination. So that is kind of disappointing comparing to the previous game. So that means we're going to have to walk the long way there and we'll ignore most of the equipment here. Onwards we go, chat. So yeah, we will get some points in spirit uh, when we get uh, class level ups for both characters. So I'm not super worried about the min stats at the moment. I still have like, not what, about nine levels to fix my stats. So like one point in intelligence doesn't really matter. Or even two points, honestly. We have a long time until we hit the next class tier. It's like 38. I think the first time I played the game, I think I literally barely hit 38 before I beat the game. And I only like went out of my way just to see what it was. If, if I had stuck to just purely doing what I'm doing now, I did not hit 38. To give Chan a sense of how far we need to go in the game. It was somewhat worth it because of the stat increases and extra abilities, but as someone who doesn't grind, or tries not to anyway. Did you just throw something at me? So you can play it this game. <laughs> Alright chat, that time it was personal. We needed to get rid of that anyway. I'm going to kill this thing in the hopes that it lets me run. So yeah, this is just kind of like collecting money on the road. This is how I view it at the moment. It's on the plus side. The more we level, the more potential healing spells we get. Eventually, we're going to unlock the ability to multi-heal. That was so rude. That was so rude, chat. I might as well do this to conserve my uh, MP. Also, I healed 138 there, which was kind of crazy. Nearly a full heal. Let's see if they let me through now. Indeed, no one is here blocking the road anymore. Hmm. This place is quiet during the day, but not the night. The flashing lights, strange noises. I bet you anything it's a ghost. Oh, sorry. I'm Mate Matello? I'm Matello, and as you see, I'm obsessed with the supernatural. I really hope the building's haunted. Um... I think this is where the night market is. I believe it's what it's called in the game. So we could buy those stat items that I was talking about before. It does make the game much easier if you use it. Ideally, we'll have a balanced party and not need to use it for anything. But uh, that'll take a little bit of time to get to that point. There's a mysterious item called the Minor Mallet, but even the merchant guild that runs the night market hasn't gotten its hands on it. I guess that's the Midge Mallet from Secret of Mana. Some say the Merchant Guild runs Bazir. It's really just a bunch of old coots around town trying to sound important. Laughable. Yeah, we deleted those road blockers. Cat was very grumpy. We disturbed it. Like, Granny always says she wants to go to the night market. But as soon as it gets dark, she's, she's out like a light. Anyway, that's a hint as to how to get to the night market, which is... Possibly optional? I don't remember if the story ever forces me to do anything there, but we'll find out. Cannot wait for nightfall. I'm gonna sell a bunch of knickknacks from my late that my late husband left behind. Once it's dark, the night market here is open for business. In the sea south of Bazer, it's Ryuka Island. I heard some sailors talking about how the volcano could erupt at any minute. To the night market via astral projection, maybe. She's there in spirit at minimum. Ship sailed to Palo Port. Do you know the town of Palo is the base of the mountain territory of the Kingdom of Laurent? 
The ram was attacked by the thieves of Navarro. Rumor has it the King Joster died in assault. But what happens if I have her talk to him? What does she say? Oh, nothing different. Disappointing. I'm mostly just looking for NPCs to shout to. The night market is looking for entertainers. Hmm. Just to remember that if that's a plot point. Alright, uh, before we go to the port, let's go to the night market and see if anything changes here. Should be able to sleep here. Ooh, sleeping here is expensive. On the plus side, I regained like all the money I spent on those healing items I picked up earlier. So I'm basically just locking in a guaranteed win at some point. Since I got like, what, nine additional healing items I can use in the boss battle and the ability to restore MP, which eventually I would like for that to be buffs and or damage spells. But we'll see. Yes, yeah, so let's go in here. Somebody's in here now. Kids think this house is haunted. Ha! <laughs> I'm still kicking. I sweep the night market during the day. That's why I'm never home. There we go, chat. Mystery solved. Damn, old man, you have all these barrels and I can't rob you. I'm so disappointed in you. So let's go check out the night market. As I said before, we're still pretty early in the game, so it'll take a little bit of time before we get balanced parties. Uh, is there anything worth purchasing now is the question. So yeah, we can increase intelligence spirit, damaging attacks. Hmm. So I could get the elemental weapons if I want to. I'll think about it. I would prefer something more generic because I don't know what element we're fighting first, having not played this game in quite some time. Looking for labor? Normally I'd offer you a deal on indentured servants, but I'm sold out. Someone already came and bought the last bratty boy I had. What? That boy might have been Elliot. Where is he now? You knew him. Sorry, but the man just bought the wares and left. I didn't pry since business is business. Oh, have mercy! I sold the kid to a red-eyed man. That's all I know, I swear. I cannot let this go. People's lives are not goods to be bartered. You should be ashamed. Yes, ma'am. I uh, understood. I'll change my wicked ways. Just please spare me. Leonard dot dot dots. Red eyes. Well, I unintentionally advanced that subplot. <laughs> oh, welcome to the Merchant Guild's night market. You won't find these wares in any other shop. Careful, there are some dangerous items on sale at the night market, but it's hard to get your hands on them elsewhere. Translation, we can't get them elsewhere. People's lives are 100% destiny. Your future is already decided. There is no hope. Don't bother. Wow, chat, you heard it. There's no hope. It's over. Hmm. So I'm throwing weapons here. Light coin, poto oil. Which recovers HP. Dark damage. Cast a spell. Hmm. So I have a feeling these things will upgrade over time. I could get... As I said before, if I knew what I was fighting first, I could stock up appropriately. I was hoping for something a bit more generic, like Strength Up. Um... And Spirit is not really useful with our current stuff. Oh, there it is. Strength Up. I'm buying a lot of those. <laughs> just, just want you to know, chat. I want that for boss fights so it doesn't take an eternity.
I think to some extent we get to choose which boss we fight next, but ideally one of the characters in our party is going to be able to uh, have some of these buffs on the fly. So from a replay value standpoint, I don't need to stock up on those because potentially I would know which one I'm doing first. So... I don't... I, I don't... I guess maybe that other merchant was missable? But we learned the red-eyed man has the brother, Elliot. We have generic strength boosts to make boss battles a bit less tedious. Ideally, what we'll end up doing is if we have somebody that can cast saber magic, we're going to try to match opposite elementals to hurt them. We're going to strength buff ourselves and hopefully debuff the enemy. That would be the ideal late game scenario. So we have a third of what we need. So I am imagining between my two characters, I will get probably elemental sabers from at least one of our characters. That is not Lise. I, I think... Or Reese. Reese. I think Reese will potentially get stat ups. So she'll cover us there to some extent, but it doesn't... Oh, I wanted to draw weapons. Stop, Lyneth. I know we are mad, but we can't fight now. I was just talking to the guy for general directions. Oh, because he's a Navarro Legion. Okay. Excuse me. Anything interesting in the shop? Not really. I mean, I could get some... A couple, couple wishes. So that's pretty much guaranteeing that I should not game over at any point. Having four of those is pretty excessive. Oh no, it's the Catman chat. Neko is here. You thieving merchant. <laughs> it's gonna upcharge us, chat. Do you have anything of interest? I mean, it's a little better. Dare I spend the money on 13 defense? I guess. Like, I don't think the helmets seem to be worthwhile, so I think going forward I might skip purchasing them. But the body armor looks pretty good. Oh, it's the cat man. The ba ba da ba. Let's see what you did there, Kirk. <laughs> excuse me. Ooh, excuse me again. So yeah, so so far armor seems worth it, helmet seems pointless. So going forward, I'm not going to do it unless I can guarantee that it gives me stat bonuses. Is taking 15 less damage is somewhat useful. <laughs> Ooh, excuse me. Allergies are bothering me again today, sadly. And it seems like Durin benefits the most from the stat upgrades. So I'm just going to sell these items since I'm here. There we go. Ideally, I'd want a weapon upgrade. I think those are always worth it, given that we have to melee everything to death. But that was the first time I bothered with, like, super big armor upgrades. So I was willing to skip it again. But then again, granted, the weapon upgrades... Oh, almost like we were going to be led into the store. So yeah, weapon upgrades, armor worth it. I think I'm skipping helmet going forward. Eight extra damage is worth it. I'm not a fan of the weapon menu in this game. It's weird because like the equipment menu itself is fine, but not weapons specifically. 
I don't know why they did that. Ugh. Sorry about that. See, so yeah, we can see we're almost doubling in attack power compared to before. And given how auto attack based this game has been so far, ooh, with her, it's kind of not worth. Durin, I'm imagining a big jump here. Oh yeah, that was worth. Just selling our equipment later so I don't get confused. So we're still hovering at around 2,000 or so, which is probably fine. Yeah, this game took away, like, the, the amount of orbs leveling us. So there's also not, like, the sense of leveling up one weapon over time. It's just a different way of doing it. It's not necessarily worse than Secret of Mana, but... At the same time, not super thrilled with the weapon progression so far. Mostly due to the fact that the shops literally have the same equipment until this place. She was injured when the Navarlan ruffians attacked the town. It hurts. Hurts. Captain Lenneth. Huh? Your Highness, you're alive. I'm so glad you were spared. Lisa, is that you? Oh, how fortunate. Hush. Please, Captain, we must be discreet lest the Navarlan agents over here. Look, you're like one character width away from another agent. I am not the only Laurentian survivor. There are many more hiding in the mountains. Go to some Nosa Meadow. Hey, you're gonna take my order or not? Oh, sorry for the wait. I guess I'm advancing subplot? I said that before, I never played as this character, so I didn't know like how much he interacted with the other townspeople. So it's interesting that we have like a kind of follow-up to do with her Fallen Kingdom, I suppose. So again, just fortunate I decided to arbitrarily check out that one building. I think that's all I could do here for now, so let's just leave town. There's an exit over here somewhere. Controller. Don't, don't hold right there. My D-pad was being held left. Thank you. Hmm. Magic rope to fast escape out of battle. There's two paths, north and south. I'll try going south first, since this seems like the least obvious path. It just leads to a shore. Hmm. Imagining this probably played into somebody's story, but not ours. Oh, hello, Needlebeaks. I recognize the imps from the underground palace of the other game. So in terms of sprite work, I mean, I think the game is definitely a step up in general. The sprites aren't as big, but they're a lot more detailed. In general, the backgrounds are pretty interesting. We'll give them that. I like the day-night shift. Some of the other games after this game do keep track of day-night, and it's also semi-important. It's neat that this mechanic was introduced here and ends up being used later on. Uh, I'm gonna go right before I go up. Man, I wish I had like an AoE spell. Fighter leveled. So he can't get any points in strength. Or stamina, so let's level spirit. 
which should also make him somewhat more resistant to these kinds of attacks. So if nothing else, we're giving him magic resistance. I think... Do I want to use... Okay, so it's Salamando and Shade. I think from that standpoint, let's go ahead and use the ring, which I think is... Not that button. I always guess wrong. I need to remember it's triangle versus square. It was square the most of the time how I used it in the other game. Right, so let's have you heal her. So just in case I level, I think we do get our stats back to some extent. So potentially could take advantage of this without burning our candy. The downside is that it takes longer to do auto battles, so she just ends up being kind of a dead weight until she starts learning new abilities, sadly. I'm thinking with her, since the, the class system is based off of light and dark, for those that have played the game before, I'm thinking the protagonist is going to go light because I think that leads to Valkyrie, and thematically, it wouldn't make sense if I made Lenif not go the Valkyrie route. I think we can all agree that doesn't make sense. For Durin, I don't really want another healer, so I'm gonna stray away from like what would be the paladin. He'll be more like a, I think it's like a gladiator or a dark knight or something like that. So we're gonna make him go the path of darkness. And honestly, I kind of want Charlotte to go the path of darkness too. Funny enough, I think darkness also leads to necromancer, and that allows me to basically one shot undead. Which is rather... One shot's kind of a strong word. It does not- it does max damage. But the thing is, for those looking to play the game for themselves, her boss, I think it's her final boss specifically, is undead. So she just cheeses her own final boss. And the fight is over nearly instantly. Like, imagine having a character that just straight up does 9999, and you just spam it over and over. What could the boss do? So your stats are irrelevant by the end of the game. So I think we managed to avoid that with who we picked in the first slot. So I don't think we'll be fighting an undead creature. As I mentioned before, the end of the game is influenced by who your first character is. So we're gonna we're gonna follow up on who basically attacked the Wind Kingdom for our final boss as well as a few bosses leading into them. The core of the game, however... Oh no, these are some Nosa flowers. Oh, didn't you tell us to go to the Somnosa fields? Charlotte too strong, indeed. Well, I guess I unintentionally found the plot. I guess. Hmm? Uh huh? Where am I? Captain, thank goodness. This is our secret base, she announces loudly to everybody. We've been preparing the remaining Amazon forces since the Varl attacked the Citadel. Oh. Wow. See, naming her Lenith, I think, also really works there because we passed out in the poppy field. That's very Valkyrie profile. She just needed a voice clip that went, I'm so tired. <laughs> And it would have been 10 out of 10, chat. Anyway, let's see what this says. We chased after the kidnapped Princeton during the Navarlin assault, but stumbled into the Somnoso meadow and succumbed to the sleep spores. Once the wind blew the spores away, we awoke to the cold trail and the citadel burning in the distance. We have failed you and Prince Elliot. Please. I'm simply happy that you are alive. Thank you, your highness. Once your companions are awake, please come to the meeting room. Everyone wishes to see you, Captain. Oh, they woke up instantly. The meadow near our base is filled with Somnosa flowers. Do not worry. You become immune to their sleep spores after being exposed to it once. Oh, that's convenient, I guess. We will fight until our last breath to take back Laurent. 
The captain is back. A tactical meeting is in progress. We will take back the Citadel. What if I just leave? Where? Will, will it just let me? No one has managed to find our secret base. Okay. I mean, I, I guess in theory we could just leave. <laughs> Thank Cal for the Lenneth name. Ah, uh, so I did walk by the base earlier. I was curious. I was thinking there could have been something here, but I, I should have pressed it further. Oh well. Um, I guess we'll go to the tactical meeting in progress. Your Highness, I'm so pleased to see you well. <laughs> Please do not strain yourself. I am fine, child. How can we take the Citadel from the thieves? Who have it overrun? A frontal assault would easily be rebuffed by Navarro. Forgive me. I'm a mere caretaker. Never learned tactics or strategies of war. Wait. We should consult with the sage Dampiri. May have wisdom to impart upon us. Dampiri? Yes. Back when the world was waging war on the Dragon Lord and his unstoppable forces, Dampiri advised the Hero King and led Valsina to victory. Where can we find this tactician? He is difficult to locate. Dampiri is Korapokor, small be beings that dwell in the Rabbi Forest south of Jad. Then we must go find him. Please wait. The Korapokor do not like large folks such as us. You may not be able to meet with him at all. So what do we do? Dumperia may not agree to meet with your with you in your current forms. You must appear less human and more Koroporko like. What? You must find the legendary minor mallet. Rumor has it that the item is in bazaar. With it you could pass for Koroporkors. Pokers? Okay. Well, we're given plot direction, I guess, but you're telling me to just immediately backtrack. Which does annoy me as a gamer. That really bothers me. We just came from there. Seriously, we gotta go back? We captured an agent in the meadow. He's behaving oddly. I do not know how the Navarlands managed to take the Citadel in this state. Uh -huh. Navarlands come from an arid desert in the south. I do not know why they would invade our kingdom and slay my sisters. Hmm. I guess next time when we go to pick a character, we'll have to pick somebody not related to this particular story. If we're gonna do the remake. So even if we have characters that are related to it, like for example Hawkeye, I think it would be better to put him as the third slot, for example. So, our mission is just, just to go back immediately to where I came from. Cool. Do you have anything for us here? We don't... They're not certain if we'll succeed in the invasion. Amazons are reduced to only a few fighters. They weapons to mount an attack, but they won't give us any. Great strategy there. Love it. Commander, we have all these weapons, but not for you. You earn your own. So I guess I just go back to the fortress. With the midge mallet. Oh, am I blocked off from going this way? Oh, she says, hey, this way. What are you trying to show me? that Von Boyage's cannon. Mercy says, oh, you know my cousin. Her name's Mercy. Nice to meet you. Will this reach Bazir? But of course. Are you ready? I'm gonna say no. Okay, so I guess it sort of makes it a bit less tedious. But it's still annoying that we have to go back here. <laughs> I'm slightly less annoyed, but I'm still annoyed. I will be right back, Jack. I'm gonna go get another drink of water.
Sorry about that, chat. I'm back. They're worse than what I have, says Calvishim, probably. Their weapons aren't exactly the most exciting thing ever. I'm just gonna take something for allergies real quick, since they kicked in suddenly. Okay, so... They did mention that it would potentially be in town, but I don't know what it wants me to do. I'm gonna make a go to the night market and see if maybe something will appear. Because the thing is, is I already went to the night market, so it's not like I didn't talk to people here. Because they said specifically the night market wishes they had it. But whatever. I'll still talk to this guy in case the dialogue updates. Nope. We'll go back to the night market. I'll check out the other houses too, just in case. Nope, nothing new there. Yeah, so they're saying even the, even the merchant guild doesn't have it, so that's why I was confused. Yet it clearly wants me to come back here. I didn't talk to the dancers before, I guess. We're the Aurora sisters, famed entertainers of the night market. Shall we dance for you? I'll say yes. Are they gonna shrink down or something? Is that what I missed last time? I think that's a new person near the barrels over there, or at least I missed talking to them last time. Okay. So anyway, let's never talk about that again. Let's talk to you. Do you have what we need? Oh, it's an important cutscene. They all ran over here. Always wanted to set up shop like this. Hmm. Running a shop isn't as fun as I thought. Well, enjoy your doodads. I think I'll go take a nap. Seriously? I feel like she wasn't there before. I keep forgetting chat. The button placement on the control is a little different than what I think it is. Do I have to put it into my active inventory here or no? Okay, so it's already there. Yeah, so that's the same thing as the Mitch hammer. Probably just a better translation of it. So this is kind of what I'm talking about. Like we went all the way back here just to set sail and go back immediately to where we came from. It's not it's not a good game flow. I think we can all agree. Like I was just here. Ugh. Right, chat big sigh. I thought they were alluding to something that wasn't available here. Talk to you. So I'm gonna pay money to go back exactly to the same town I just came from and roll my eyes. I wonder if damage cancelling exists in this game. Oh. Interesting. So I had the ability to go to Jad there. Mr. Runch Slam saying the song slaps. Music in the game is kind of nice. So now that I have the mallet, I'm curious what they're going to say. If they just tell me to go to Jad, I'm also going to get very annoyed. I just want you to know, chat. They're going to be like, come on, seriously? Well, let's advance this little subplot and see where we go from there. So we know Jad will eventually lead to the Windstone, but presumably we can't go to Jad until we talk to the Amazons, who we already met. There we go. Oh, I didn't realize you could push them. Well, that's kind of funny. 
But only oh, I guess if they move around normally, you could push them. Makes sense. So anyway, we're going to be avoiding a lot of combat because we don't need it. If our allies happen to attack, then you know, power to them, I guess. I'll smack them on occasion to make our AI slightly aggressive, but again, I'm just looking to make progress here. Oh, getting poison's kind of annoying. Allies can face them alone, pretty much. Like, I don't really want to fight these things. They're kind of not worth my time. We happen to get incidental experience while we're exploring. It's fine. I don't recall if I ever checked up the top of this place. Guess we'll find out in a moment. Hmm. I don't think I went in here before. So here it's worth me checking out, just because this is a new area. I'm not sure if there's anything worth finding. Oh, is it really just a single room? Hmm. <laughs> Chat, the disappointment is immeasurable. Also, that's not the right character. I mean, they can heal themselves, that's fine. I need to remember, when I do this and then this, I need to re-aim to... This character. There we go. So let's just fully heal ourselves real quick, because we're going to get back to an inn at some point. Uh, so up here was just another path. Again, if we happen to level, I guess it's kind of nice. I think it's still a little too early to worry about classes, given they said level 18. I might as well make sure that thing dies. Ooh, harpies. So yeah, we didn't go up last time, we went to the side. So we somehow found the plot last time, which I find kind of funny in retrospect. I'm just curious if this is like a full-blown dungeon or what the deal is with this area. Yeah, I don't really want to fight this room. I'm more just looking to determine what this is before we go further. So I can see an exit in the upper left. I'm gonna go for it. Gust Hall. Oh, what's with this barrier? Okay, so so let let's put let's put together the plot points. If we get the windstone. We'll get wind magic. Wind magic presumably will let us enter Gust Hall. So we know where to go next. So that's fine. We found this ahead of time. So what? Oh, they got shrunk. So we have almost everything we need then. We just have to go back to what's it called? the Amazon hideout, but what- okay, so Gust Hall is dead north of the Amazon hideout. What is east of here? Well, Copper Knight is not letting me through. Copper Knight, please. Actually, I don't need to heal. Let's go to the next room. Now I can heal. That's just for another fight. Eh, not super worth it. On the plus side, I mean, at least the enemies are store level-ish, so I know I'm not, like, crazy far ahead. Our Fang has been found. Don't remember what that does. Presumably that's some kind of stat buff. So we're taking an annoying amount of poisoning damage, which is unfortunate. Oh. I wasn't expecting to reach Laurent going this way? Huh. I... 
Maybe I'm confused about the geography. I thought they said Laurent was above Jad. Maybe I misheard. Maybe I misread what they said to us earlier. I thought they were talking about how Jad is at the base of the mountain. I mean, maybe it's still true. I was just surprised we got there from here. Whatever. I love when we load into another area. I could just use that to skip enemies. Okay, so... Presumably we have to come back up this way. So we, we'll go to the Wind Kingdom, get the Wind Stone. The king wanted us to see us after we got the Wind Magic. So we might have to make a detour there before we go to Gust Hall. Because maybe they have to teach us how the Gust Hall works. So we're, we're trying to fill in like the plot elements of what the game might want us to do. Don't mind, don't mind me, I'm just gonna walk away. By enemies, we don't really need more fights, we're good. So I guess it's really fortunate the first time I came here, I did not go north first. Since I would have had way less experience. And also, have not been healed. Yeah, whatever. Never hurts the grind, though. I am very anti-grind. I find it boring. Let's go through and heal her. I'm just gonna heal myself once to make sure I could get through the next area, because I could just in sleep and be fine. I mostly just want to get to my destination. Yeah, that was the safe statue before that. I didn't remember if there were encounters here. Oh, I guess there wasn't encounters here. Never mind. I thought there was a fight here. Right, we'll just go here. I didn't need to heal. So we will use the inn, and then we'll progress the plot slightly. Yeah, if they happen to kill stuff while I'm walking between places, that's fine. Oh. Are we not allowed to re-sleep here? That's... unfortunate, actually. Well, in that case... It's not like I don't have a million fairy walnuts. We'll be fine. So let's go back to the meeting room now that we have this and see what they say. And they're gonna be like, Oh, you must go south to Jad, blah blah blah. Is that all you're gonna tell me if I come back here? Yeah, I did find the- I did find the mallet. Why are you asking me to still get the mallet? Or does the game just assume I'm gonna go straight to Jad? If so, I feel kind of annoyed either way. So what if I use it and then talk to him? What is he gonna say about this? So he's not going Okay. So he's not going to update the plot, even though I have the item. Hmm. Just curious if he Oh, so just talking in general cancels it? Oh. Interesting. Alright, so we didn't have to come back here. I guess then we could just go to Jad. That's kind of unfortunate. So I, I thought he said to come back here once we had the mallet, but I guess he didn't. Is there anybody else we... Nope. I guess we'll just go to Jad then. So we have the item we need to advance the plot. So now I'm just going to take the cannon travel back, since I thought we were going to get more dialogue coming back this way. We went through here before. I don't think we missed anything. Went to the jail, we talked to everybody there. All right, so I don't think there's anything else we need to do here. That's fine then. So I believe they said the mushroom forest south of Jad was our next destination. I thought he was going to tell us more information, but apparently not. 
So we're going to go back to Bazir, and then I'm going to choose the other option to progress the plot. Yeah, we talked to her already. Yeah, 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 that's fine. So once we do that, we'll have the strategy needed to fight the Wind Kingdom, which will give us the Windstone, which will give us Sylph, which will presumably go back to the king, the hero king, and then he'll give us something to get through the Gust Hall. So we're, we're starting to plot out where the game wants us to go a little bit. I will check the stores to see if there's anything interesting here. Oh, wait, no, 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 it's the Merchant Town, sorry. We gotta go to Jad first. We were in this house before. Jumping ahead of myself. It would have been nice if she just sent us to Jad, to be honest. Love our allies getting stuck on random things. Let's go to Jad. Ooh, he's charging us 270. It's kind of rough. Yeah, it's kind of like when we played Secret of Mana. We're, we're going to be basically low level, I think, more or less the whole game. And we're under leveled. It's just going to be the nature of how I play the game. Although a bit unfortunate that backtrack wasn't needed, so we did get a little extra experience that way, I suppose. But at some point, the enemy level should eclipse us. Mostly it's just dependent on how easily I could get through the dungeons. We have a lot of heals, and I have a lot of walnuts to skip it. We have some buffs. Should be fine there. There's definitely no sense in fighting stuff early on anyway. Maybe at the end of the game I could get some minimum levels. Oh, we were in this town before. But they weren't selling stuff because of the beastmen, right? Do you sell something now? Of course, why, why would you ever have upgrades? S silly me, chat. We went to a new town. Why would they have upgrades? Silly me. Let's move on from that point. Get away from me. Man, if I could just hold the run button the whole time, you bet I would not bother fighting these things at all. I like how these are level one. So this just leads back to Astoria. So what am I missing? We came through Wendell. This is the start of the game. One second, chat. I mean, I guess we could investigate to make sure I didn't miss anything in the destroyed towns. Alright, so we can't enter any of these. Hmm. So I have the plot item. They, they mentioned it was near the Rabbi Forest. There were high-level enemies there. Was there another turn I could have taken near Jab that I just didn't remember? Let's go backwards slightly and look for it. So it looks like there's nothing to interact with here. I don't see any NPCs. Hmm. So I'm presumably not going back to Wendell, so I'm not gonna take that path. We went left here. Was there something left here that led to something different? The enemies did upgrade slightly, so maybe. There, I think there was one of those goofy statues over here. Maybe it wanted us to use it there. Oh, that's unfortunate. Not worth. I think at this point I should just skip opening chests. I feel like if all they're gonna do is give me uh, candy, it's just absolutely not worth it to me at all. They're all asleep right now, so I don't have to fight them. Our allies, however, will hit them. 
Yeah, so there was this healing statue here before. Will something happen different as we head to the lake here? I guess is the question, now that we have the mallet. Ah, oh, there we go. So I can't seem to do anything here. So what I'm going to do is... I'm going to leave the screen and come back. So I think I had the right idea. I just... I guess I'm more used to, like, the... Oh. It doesn't last between screens. That's weird. I guess I'm just more used to modern RPGs, where if somebody tells you you need something, and if you go back and talk to them, you get more information. Let's see if this lets me go to somewhere new. Ath appeared in the trees. Okay. Oro Poker Woods. You three do not look familiar. Oh, we just moved into town. Lovely to meet you. Who neighbors are? Is it just me, or does something about you smell... human? Human? Ew. Hitched a ride on a human to get here, so a stink must have gotten on me. Ha. Uh -huh. It's hard to avoid the, those simple, stinky humans. Most definitely. So, do you happen to know where we can find the Dumpiri... Uh, the Sage? How about you look for the fellow yourself? Oh. You... you stop it. <laughs> stop it. Every time you walk into him, he talks to you. Stop it. <laughs> Move. I'd like to look for him myself, old man. What a jerk. <laughs> Getting actually trolled by the AI. Uh, Let's go in this house. I'm fury? Don't know, but he's not in here. You know, I'm not really sure why D-pad initiate. It's weird because, like, if I walked into this person with D-pad, nothing happens. But for some reason in that cutscene, he was just looping me over and over. It's very weird. Could be a bug from uh, the dialogue trigger. So we're just looking for the sage. So we're investigating the different houses. So far, we haven't seen him. Wasn't he outside? I, I could have sworn I seen him. Oh, is it the old man that said to go look for him? Is, is that the plot twist that he's the sage? Hey, Dump Fury isn't here. Of course he is. I am he. Wow, what a troll. What? But I asked if you knew where he was. When you asked, I was taking a turn around the village. I did not know where I would be at any one moment. John, I think this is where we transform back into humans. We just stomp them. <laughs> right, chat? Well, group vote. Should we stomp out Dom Piri? Lena thinks to herself, What a horribly stubborn man. I suppose that's one way to look at it. <laughs> what? Do you doubt me, young egg? Oh, draw. Oh, we drew the weapon on him. Um, could you help us, Dwampi? A bunch of mice took over the Kompuku village in Wawen. We thought you might know the other Ko Koapuku who could... can do to make the mice weave. Oh, that's difficult to read, I'm not gonna lie. My, that is dreadful. Laurent, you say? Oh, I have an idea. First, you must locate the Wind Elemental Sylphid. I was gonna do that anyway, old man. This is not helpful. <laughs> right, chat? Literally unhelpful. From one of the mountain paths of Laurent is the entrance to the Gust Hall, a dangerous wind labyrinth. I was already... Oh, really? You're gonna make me go there now? Seriously? Reverse the hall by changing the direction of the wind sash is graded path. The rest is up to you. I hate you so much, old man. Oh, I thought that would have been afterwards. Yeah, yeah, we know about the Mana Stone. We don't need to explain Sylphid's in a Mana Stone. We're near it anyway. Sylphid can spread the sleep spores from the Somnosa Meadow. Throughout Citadel Laurent, incapacitate the Navarro Legions. Oh, so they never went through the... the fields? Wait, 
You knew we weren't Cora Poker the whole time? <laughs> it was obvious. If you were Koro Poker, you would have known that this is the only settlement of our kind in the world. Besides, I could tell you of a fairy with you. The Koro Poker could see that you were the chosen one with a single glance. I'm not fond of humans myself, but I know that if a fairy is here, the world is in dire peril. We cannot turn a blind eye, but it can also refuse to be helpful and make you look around the village for me, even though you knew clearly that I, uh, <laughs> you're here for an important purpose. Pardon my teasing from earlier. I just cannot help myself. <laughs> there is no other... There is no greater joy. So, let me get this straight. We were already told to collect the Sylphids. And the great master strategy on how to deal with this is to collect Sylphid, which we already knew about because they told us about it like five different times. I'm very disappointed, Chad. The disappointment is very much immense. Oh, that was a big waste of time. So, I, like, it's not like he told me, like, a secret in how to get into the Gust Hall. Like, we literally, we were literally just there, like, ten minutes ago. I'm gonna kill you, because I want you out of my way. Uh, can we level Spirit, actually? Let's do that. There we go, one person at level ten. So now I have to go all the way back. I have to sail. Then I gotta climb the mountain again. Then I gotta climb up the north side. Just rolling my eyes, chat. We're getting busy work. I know Secret of Mana had a decent amount of backtracking, but I don't think it was quite this ridiculous this early in the game. Like, it was fairly linear at the previous game, where it was like, until we basically got to, like, the hot and cold country. There's only one place to go. Yeah, not a fan of that. Ugh, leveling there is actually kind of annoying. Um, I guess I'll level stamina for now because I, I still don't have spells. After this, I'll probably focus spirit so she can learn her abilities. Twinkle is highest level, damn right. Twinkle OP apparently. So we're gonna do all so we basically went there for like three lines of dialogue and the translation was go back to the place you already know about and can already access very disappointed um i don't remember i hope it was paulo was the port that we needed to go to I hope it wasn't Maya chat, or I'm going to be very sad in a moment. I know we went to the merchant town, and then I think it was Paulo we went to that was at the foot of the mountain. So yeah, maybe I was confusing two of the kingdom names before. Yeah, that looks right. If I see the red dot on the upper left map, that looks correct. So yeah, ideally I don't really want to get into any more fights, but we're probably going to get kills as we go up the side of the mountain. It's not necessarily a bad thing, but... At the same time, I really don't need it. Not yet, anyway. I think between our, like, 18 healing sources, 4 MPs, 4 revives... It's like, I kind of don't need to level, unless I'm at the point where I could get one shot. But given that we're already maxed out on equipment, not really all that worried. Also, I love that our plan just assumes that they've never been in the uh, the sleeping fields. Ooh, that was such a good skip. Yes, okay, so that's one less room we have to go through at least. I'm gonna go around these enemies and go up here. I'll attack once to make our allies more aggressive, and I'm just gonna keep walking backwards. Because at least these enemies are like vaguely near our level. Poor Durin, though. What am I stuck on? Hello? That was weird. I couldn't climb the uh, stairs for some reason. Unfortunately, the enemies are between me and my destination. 
Actually, I think this is just a cave, right? This might not be what I'm looking for. I can use this to reset them, though. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some healing magic. And the rest of our HP totals look fine. Oh no, you decreased my defense. That would have really mattered if I'd bothered fighting anything. <laughs> Right, chat? You got me. <laughs> nice try, though, game. Cute. Uh, so let, this should be where we were before. I just gotta go through the door. So, like, now? Hmm? I could have sworn something was blocking the way last time. Oh, well, let's go. Wow. Chat. Give it the round of applause. That is... I mean, we've heard of, like, plot barriers before, or, like, roadblocks to our path. Very literal. Press the button to continue. I like how there wasn't even, like, an in-universe explanation as to why that was different. Oh, I don't think I like this room at all. Uh, I guess I'll get the kill now that I've already damaged them. I like that he's being moved by the floor during his little heal animation. I think that'll be a hard no from me. Alright, so they only have two directions they can face. Is there anything hidden up here if I do this? So I could go left or right here. Let's go down here. <laughs> Chat love that I'm just basically skipping the dungeon. I'm like, where's the exit? Is this just a shortcut back to the other area? So that's kind of unfortunate. No, this looks like new area. There's also a door here. So what's here? Lots of harpies, apparently. Oh, I did all that and I ended up here. Oh, that sucks. I think I just made a big circle. I can prove that if I go over here. That really sucks. Alright, so it is a it's sort of a maze. Unfortunate. So there's nothing I can do in either of these areas currently. The only thing I could do differently here is when given a choice. I could have gone through this door. What does this door lead to? Oh. Never mind, let's not go through there. Alright, so where where was my real choice? Is the question I should be asking myself. Is there something over here? I didn't see another switch, so I'm assuming this is the only way we could have gone. Again, I'm not refighting these. Get out of here. Um, I went right last time. So there's like a door here. Uh, switch over there. Oh, and there's a- th oh, this is a pathway down here. Oh, I'm really lucky, Chad. I don't know if I would have recognized that as a door, to be honest with you. That was really lucky I ran into that like that. What's that? Oh, I actually found it. Oh, that was actually not too bad. It's a mana stone. 
This is the first one I've seen in person, too. If the Benevidon sealed within were freed, the world would be in such danger. Please, don't say that. I'm sorry. We're doing what we can to stop it, after all. Come on, Sylphid must be nearby. Looks like these fresh footprints are headed this way. Let's check them out. Probably heal up a little bit. I think being above 100, it's pretty safe. Oh. self getting attacked by the Dark Knights. Sylph, it's in trouble. Are you like a real boss fight? Stop, leave him alone. Darkshine Knight dot dot dots us. He's gone. Something's wrong. Urgh. Art he set attacked us, I think it said. Ah. Strength up time. So I'm gonna try to make this fight a little faster by playing with items. Wow, Charlotte's doing literally one damage. She's so useless in this fight, chat. Holy. Huh? Why can I not select her? Oh, is she being hit or something? Oh, I guess she was mid-attack. Well, I mean, it's... I guess it's good she had extra health. Right, so presumably I can't hit them while they're up this high. Oh boy. This is gonna be a long fight if this boss just keeps going out of range like this. At least right here it's a little attackable. Defenseless, sure, whatever. Oh, locked. Um. Okay. That's okay. So if it defense downs me and doesn't attack me, I don't think this is relevant at all. I keep missing the. There we go. Let's see how much damage this does. Durin literally at one. Unless it's one of those bugs again and he's already dead. I think he is targetable, the game is just being weird with me. Oh, if he got hit there, that would have made me so salty. Cause he just charged arbitrarily. I got asleep. This fight was much easier than the Jewel Beast. Was it just me, chat? I felt like that took like half the time of the Jewel Beast. You won. Oh, they just keep popping until I move. You okay? Silphid, are you all right?
Phew, you saved me. Who was that Black Knight? I don't know. One moment he's looking at the monostone, next he was after me. Drain my energy and summon. Oh, it wasn't Harpy Pete. It was Arky Pete. Okay. Was that night after the mana stone? Sylphid, we need your help. I see. Well, you'll save my life. I'll stick with you until the bitter end. Chain wind powers from Sylphid. The question is, did we actually gain anything? I feel like the answer is going to be no. This is the button I'm looking for. So, I'm assuming if I had the other character, I would have learned another wind spell. Because I think Angela is kind of like the black mage of the party, where she could just spam spells all day long against random enemies. Play call off with my sisters when I was younger with this game. Nice. Try to switch your class. Close your eyes and focus your mind. Oh, are we allowed to do it? Come on, focus harder. I thought we had to be level 18. Or is that just for the... Oh, it didn't work. Looks like you need more experience before you can switch classes. Cheer up, we could try again later. Wow. So, we have to come back to this place specifically. Which is kind of unfortunate because it's not the most straightforward place to get back into. So hopefully one of the later mana stones will let us do it, because I do not want to go through a maze every time I want to level up here. So, we went this way before, so I have a question. I love that Durin's still not level 10. It's amazing, by the way. What was over here? Oh. Yeah, that's not a good placement of the statue. Um, you put it after the boss? It's not... whatever. You just like this part because of the music spam? It does seem to like acquiring the last music that you used. Oh, strength up? Yes, please. Let's slap him a little bit. Listen, if they're, if they're gonna follow me on my way there, I'll get some kills. Yeah, I'm very neutral to the game at the moment, to be honest. I don't have nostalgia with this game, because I didn't play with it until much later in life. Mostly because it didn't come out in the US. So I can't go that way yet unless I flip the statue. I think if I go this way, I should go back to the entrance, which is what I'm looking to do here. Fine, I'll use my little spin attack or whatever. Let's go back to Charlotte for a little bit. So, do I actually need to go back to the other kingdom? Or can that wait until I come back with Sylphid to the other place? I guess we just have to play Guess the Plot Trigger. What do we think will let us go into Laurent? We now have the wind magic. So maybe they'll react to us differently now? Oh, I'm out of there. Bye. We know Lorenz to the right, but I don't want to go there until we get confirmation that that's what we need. If the other guy's like, if only we had the minor mallet or whatever, I'm also going to get kind of annoyed. The journey would have been not worth it. Charlotte menacingly walking backwards with her flail. Uh, at least if I get our allies to melee these, maybe I'll get my run command back in a reasonable amount of time. Maybe. Right, so this is right before the hideout. So now do they say anything now that we have both the hammer and the wind elemental? Oh, 
Please hurry to the meadow. Okay. Looking to see if anything changed over here before we proceed. So I guess maybe we could have gone straight to Laurent then, unless there's something we do here. Oh no, we had to go to this meadow specifically. You made it. Did you have a chance to speak with Dom Piri? We did, and then you didn't acknowledge us, you jerk. Yep, take a look. What will you do? <laughs> Healing magic? I don't think so. So we'll, we'll show Sylphid. Hello, leave this to me. He's like, if anybody needs to do some chemical warfare, leave it to me. Gas them all, chat. <laughs> Are we not the bad guys, chat? Wow, that was- that was such a dishonorable attack. Now's our chance. Please be careful. There may be enemies in the Citadel that did not succumb to the sleep spores. Help yourself to the supplies in the barrels. There are candies and cups of wishes. Got some candies. You have enough of this item. So... So I could have skipped purchasing items because they were just gonna give them to me anyway. Out of blows, actually. Yeah, are we sure we're not the bad guys? Uh, well, I might as well just use this to full heal, even if I don't get all of them back. Interestingly, it took the entire barrel. Oh, there we go. So I had. Okay, so chat, you witnessed that. I had to take all the candies to get to the Cup of Wishes. Nice try, Trials of Mana. I didn't fall for that. I could have skipped tons of revives, which would have been useful. So wave your finger, chat. Mm -mm. Leave this to us. Be cautious. So presumably we just have to go back to the hidden passageway somewhere, which was back here, I think. There's the room. I'm trying to recall from the first session where the optional area was. No. So there was like a secret passageway. But how did I get to it? I thought we got to it from behind the throne room. We try going down the stairs. Question on the thing on the front of the courtyard actually that I want to look before we go further. There wasn't anything hidden over here, right? Before we go further. Oh, there's like a whole area over here. Uh, I think this is the correct way. Whatever, we'll save the game. I don't see anything else that I could pick up at least, so we'll continue for now. I think I'll avoid getting stamina for a little while and just focus on the damage stats. I think our HP's in a pretty good place overall. Oh, the vibrating sprites when you go through the stairs. It's a little nauseating, not gonna lie. Let's go back to this place with the switch. Oh, we don't interact with the switch at all now? Okay. Never mind. No switch interaction. So there is the other path on the opposite side we could try. On the plus side, we came over here and got MP restored. So don't consider that a waste of time. We saved our game, MP restore, worth. Uh, okay, so nothing I could do there. Where does the game want me to go if not the switch room? There were a couple passageways over here. Maybe it wanted me to go to this side. Because there were the two doors that led to the... Oh, there's no fights in here. That led to our rooms. Then there's a little staircase down to the right that I want to take. So all of them have succumbed. 
and we just killed them in their sleep because we are honorable warriors. Smack him real quick. Oh, he's level 11. Nice. Hmm. Or we go further to the right there. What happens if we go up the stairs? Ooh, more battles. Love Charlotte was going in. Hmm. Interesting room, but nothing to really do in it. So sadly, I think I am getting a lot of XP by taking these fights. Don't want it necessarily. Okay. Oh. Oh, it didn't le I didn't realize the throne room literally led to this hallway. That's interesting. I don't think we used this hallway before. Okay. So this is just here if you want to level. I don't really want to level, so let's leave. I'll still smack this thing to get him away from us a little bit. Actually, is this up before? I should be playing as Charlotte. Let our AI companions get kills. Nope. I'm gonna talk to her, but... Munharm, the enemy is above at the top of the citadel. Take the door further to the right, hurry. At least we got some direction. Also, that guy exploded. <laughs> I'm tempted to call whenever we see somebody. Yeah, so all that just led to the same path. That's what I thought. Okay. I just wanted to verify because we didn't take all the staircases before. Ew, monsters, not monsters. How is that any different than what we were fighting before? Hello, random sword. Evil sword, chat. Hoping to just kill him real quick for free XP. 20 XP is kind of significant, I think, compared to the 7s and 8s we saw before. Oh, hello. Are you the a Navarro agent? You will pay for what you did to my father. Wait, it's not what you think. I'm Hawkeye, and yes, I used to be a Navarlan thief, but not anymore. This is the fault of a horrible usurper named Isabella. She twisted the minds of the Navarlan forces and attacked Laurent. I'm here to stop them. I don't think I've ever had the other protagonist really interfere with the story before, so this is kind of interesting. Honestly. I don't know Isabella's true motives, but I can tell you one thing. Real Navarlan thieves would never take a life. I knew where's Isabella, but the witch's real name is Belladonna. She killed my... my best friend, Eagle. And she didn't stop there. Belladonna gave a cursed item to Eagle's little sister, Jessica. If Belladonna dies, so will she. I couldn't do anything. So please, if you find Belladonna, don't kill her. I know you don't owe me anything, but... Understood. I am the Princess of Laurent Leneth. Though I wish justice from my father, I will not allow an innocent girl to die in return. Thank you, your highness. Oh man, I could kiss you. Huh? Well, what are you doing? Sorry, I got carried away. I, I do not know if I can, but I will do my best to save your friend. I appreciate it. Well, I won't hold you back any longer. I'll go on ahead and see what I could do. So that's interesting. If you don't choose like the paired characters, they still meet with each other in the main storyline. As I said before, when I played before, I played with, I think, uh, Kevin and Charlotte. So because they interacted with each other so much already, I didn't have, like, new... I didn't have that kind of interaction with the other characters. So I'll give it that. It does make the world feel a little more connected, even though you didn't select the characters. Oh, he's using the Chrono Trigger Spin Slash on me. That's not good. How much damage is that? That is a lot of damage. I'm going to take some time to heal here. Oh, she's the L button. That's why I got confused. So there we go. I sped up the casting animation, technically. But not really. We still wait for the same amount of time. Heal ourselves up. So right now, she's just kind of a glorified healer, which is unfortunate. I'm not a big fan of those in games, unless it's like a super grindy RPG. Oh, 
Oh. Oh, I see like a sword up there. I was wondering what we declared combat on. Uh, sure. Let's go this way. Let's not go in there. <laughs> right, Chan? I was like, wait a minute. Changing my mind. Possible we could level here. We'll see. I'll try to take some pot shots, as I said before. Maybe they'll level us. We're in my way, sword. Perish. Let you live, you're not in my way. Wow, this is quite a climb. See some doors. Let's uh, scooch into the door. Found a save point. So I got rewarded for using MP for healing. Since I just got it all back just now. Though all the candies we pick up were from the shops or from combat are still there to restock as needed. I'll kill this sword on the way out in case somebody's like literally about to level. I thought I was out of range and then it lunged forward. I almost, I almost got punished for talking crap about not needing to care about spacing. I know, it just had like a ridiculous hitbox anyway. You're trapped. So, so Noah attacks? Oh, hello. Well, I'm definitely gonna be buffing here. So, you know, I'm, I'm trying to do some bare minimum, like, not gonna be like, oh, I'm gonna go itemless, but I'm hoping by at least pumping my strength, I cut down the amount of time I'm in combat. Shapeshifter looks like the Zero Dark. You know what? I'll also buff her damage, because why not? Maybe she'll be useful if it gets buffed. Was he strength buffing everybody here? That's not good. I'm gonna have to heal after this, I have a feeling. Good call. I'm getting attacked by Sarah. Or oh, they're just shape shifting randomly. Interesting. Let's get the healing on. So, again, at least I tried to raise their strength a little bit. Yeah, that did hilariously low damage, but I think it's because she's very magic resistant at this point. I'm gonna kill the shapeshifter, see if this helps me. Ooh, took big damage there. Okay, I don't need to worry about Lenneth for a little bit. Oh, he got back-to-back -back attacks on me? What are you doing? Or not. I don't know what you're doing, actually. Never mind. Let's heal. Did you really interrupt my heal there? That is so rude. I'm glad I cast that early, question mark. So heal yourself. I mean, we're doing like 90 plus damage, so it's like clearly working to some extent, but I wish I just had some multi-targets. Oh, that's why I couldn't hit the menu there. Cute. 
I, I was trying to menu that whole time and I was like, why am I not able to do that? Checks out. Please heal me. Please heal me before I die. <laughs> right, Chad? Like, that's actually just unfair. Oh, wait, wait. I cast heal before it did that. Right, we're doing some big damage. I can't tell if our buffs have worn off or not. Oh, it's dead. I, I guess that went okay. Thank you, strength buffs. So, so far, I think the Night Merchant stuff has saved time. I think we're doing about 30 more damage a hit. That's not insignificant. The path is open. And we healed. Nobody leveled. Oh, we did level. It was just the lead. Please, more strength. Oh, Thanks, game. Uh, spirits max. Salmon is okay. Um, let's give her strength up. She's gonna be able to actually do some damage. You are the agents from before. Where is my brother? Give Elliot back. Bill says, who knows? Who cares? Come on, Ben. Gotcha, Bill. Secret attack fuse. Okay. Oh. Oh, is this like a real boss? Oh. Uh, um. Well, I'll save. I'll not use strength up on everybody here. Let's go, I guess. Oh god. Oh no, I'm being stunlocked. Please let me menu. Let me menu. Let me menu. Oh my gosh. Uh, let's see. Chocolate. You. You heal yourself. I'm gonna use a candy on myself and I should be fine, I think. Let's just use a couple of these and go forward. Well, I'm glad I guess I got more strength because we're gonna need it here. Getting hit multiple times, which kind of sucks. Ooh, took big damage. Oh, that canceled my attack animation. Man, these characters are really spamming attacks. This is not good. They might have killed my character there because they just did back-to-back -back attacks there. Uh, I'm gonna safety heal you to revive you from death, maybe? Yeah, I think I... Nope, nope, it said one. It said one HP in my defense. You all saw it. It definitely said one and then it killed the character. That was very rude. Very rude. Well, I'm glad. Oh, I I guess we killed one of them mid fight. This is awkward. Uh, you go to spirit, whatever. You'll regret this. Forgive us, Belladonna. Uh, are we done or? I mean, I'm at max MP again. Who are you? I mean, it's Belladonna, come on. Context clues. You may call me Belladonna. I am a servant of his dark majesty. You save state Solana as a kid? Uh, we're gonna hopefully never save state here. Huh? I have no more need of the Citadel. You may do with it as you will. Wait, stop! Oh, she just straight up gets away. With your help, we managed to take the Citadel. Words cannot express our gratitude. So I guess because we chose Leneth, we fought her here? Which is a little different than I think the other characters. 
The kingdom is reclaimed, but my father is gone forever. Sounds like Belladonna was manipulating Navarro behind the scenes. We better watch out for her. Belladonna stole my father and my kingdom from me. She still has my brother. I will never forgive her. I hate that Belladonna too. But what are you going to do if they come back? The Citadel defenses were mostly repaired by Navarro. After the fire, we can defend ourselves. We will not be caught off guard again. Sleep spores will no longer work on us either. Our next move is to make a search party for Prince Elliot. Your Highness, if you would only stay here at the Citadel and guide your people. Lenit dot dot dots. <clears throat> I know you're worried about Prince Elliot, Captain. You may leave the Citadel in our care. Please, continue your search. We know you're not the type to wait idly by in the Citadel, while others attempt to retrieve the kidnapped prince from the enemy. Isn't that right? Yeah! Lisa, everyone, thank you. I will find Elliot and bring him back, along with the Sword of Mana, so we may rebuild Loren together. Safe travels, Captain. Cool. That's the Wind Elemental found. Guess we better go back to Valsina and see His Majesty. So... Wait, can I even go back inside? <laughs> I can't. They're like, listen, this area was only here for your backstory. You're not allowed to go back here anymore. Thou shall not return until you're finished. Right, chat? We just got exiled. The Elder's now in charge of the kingdom. It was all just a big plan to usurp. Oh, I keep trying to run, and I was trying to figure out what happened. She built up enough meter that I couldn't. That checks out. Oh, almost got through it. I'm going to reset the room real quick. That kind of works, sort of. Yeah, so Charlotte was basically there to heal. Ideally, when we get our class upgrade, we're going to get AoE heal. That is going to be the big goal, to stop wasting time in menus. So, I know Charlotte gets it from having played with her before. I think no matter if I go light or dark path, she will end up with cure-all. So as long as I have that, uh, the boss battles are basically guaranteed. I should not be able to lose at all. Unless we get unless we get cheesed out like we did that one guy where he literally just spams cinematic attacks and locked me out of the menu. Which I'd like to state is very rude that that happened. But not unsurprising. Um Is there a point to doing this? I guess I should go this way to the cannon. Because then it would save me the boat travel. Maybe that's faster. So we're just building up a little cash by attacking these people and maybe getting kills. Maybe. So let's hope this is good enough to just go back to the other place and then from there we go back to the king. So plot order not quite what I thought it was. But I think we could go a little further tonight. Okay, so nothing happens if I return here. Oh, wait. They took the cannon away. Wait, you took the fast travel away. Why did you do that? Trials of mana, please. <laughs> the Don't blame me on that one, Chad. I legitimately can't do anything. They took away the cannon. Really? You're going to make me walk off this mountain? I hate you so much. Yeah, why would they ever get rid of fast travel? Like, shy of, like, a plot reason. Fast travel should be unlocked forever. And that doesn't feel like a good enough plot reason. It's not like the place we're about to go to is under attack or anything. Or even if it was, it still should have been there physically for them to say, like, there's trouble. 
damage. You're gonna force me to take the port here, which is much slower. So sad. I actually remember it about the, fly the fast travel. Instead of out of sight, out of mind kind of deals. Oh well. Uh, so I just wanted to see what was on that screen. The answer is nothing of interest. I will say though, without having like the sword orbs to collect, there's really almost no reason to explore in this game, which is kind of sad. So I feel like the dungeon rewards are kind of bad. Like think about like Secret of Mana, like it had its problems, but at least it, even in that in like Final Fantasy Adventure, like a lot of our gear was just naturally in a dungeon. And either we got spells or something as we continued forward. Right now I only have an urge to go straight to the bosses, because only the bosses will give me anything of interest. There's not like a chest of money waiting for me, or there's like a whole bunch of candies. Oh, there's the neck of the cat. Huh? You're with that invading hooligan. Take that and that! You can fool us! Leave that kitty cat alone! Nicola. Oh, they renamed the cat? Oh. Is this supposed to be the same Niccolo from Legend of Mana? I thought he was more of a bunny. Whatever. Brother, it's Moo! Or it's Mew! Help me! You recognize me. That's a relief. Please, my friend is from Navarro. But he's being controlled. This wasn't his fault. Please spare him. Hmm. Fine, as long as you're sorry. Let's go. Wow, that was easy. Thank you for saving me. After you left Navarro, things went from bad to worse. Oh, I guess we're getting filled in on his plot, despite not having seen his story. Eladonna began taking over Navarro with her magic. Those who figured out her plan were taken by her summoned monsters until no one was left. So I guess this is what happens when you don't pick the other character? It's funny that we're getting more of the side story here than we are for the girl or the boy that's with us. Since Jessica was already under a curse, Belladonna's mind control didn't work. Said she put Jessica in the fortress prison. They barricaded the walls since I broke me out of those cells. I couldn't do anything for Jessica. Then I fell to the mind control myself. Hmm. That's rough, Niccolo. Probably not a good good idea for you to return to Navarro yet. I'm sorry, I couldn't protect Jessica. It's not your fault. Belladonna put Jessica in prison instead of harming her when her magic didn't work. But now she's probably safe. Sorry for the trouble. Till we meet again. <laughs> and it's like, that story could have been yours. That's what you get, player. Choose better next time. <laughs> right, chat? Well, I guess we have decisions to make when we go to play the remake. We could select paired characters, so that way their story is more joined. Or we could just select all the characters we haven't seen. Where are Noko and Nijita? Oh no, you're trying to form the uh, squirrel names from Suikoden. I would like to think their names would be Niccolo, Piccolo, and Sicolo. <laughs> Apparently they're all better now. Alright, so they're saying there's new weapons at the shop. Are there though? We're so dragging of all names with it within, pretty much. <sighs> Such a minor upgrade. This feels bad, but I'm gonna buy it. I kind of don't want boss fights to take forever. No game Twinkle was a necessary choice and you can't convince me otherwise. It's like, but you could have had Hawkeye. I guess Duran's probably the most replaceable of our characters. We have really barely interacted with his plot. Like, we, we stumbled upon his house by accident, and that was, like, the most we got out of his plot so far. Poor Durin. Your plot is, like, so irrelevant to the story that's happening. He's just going on a killing spree. 
There we go, that works better. Like the squirrel names. I'm not gonna bother buying armor, who cares. When we get like three places from now, I'll think about it. There's a strange ship docked there now, I think it goes to Bazir. What does that mean? What do you mean strange? I'm just looking to see if any of these people have additional information, but it doesn't seem like it. I'm also checking the barrels a little bit just to see if they have things in them, but so far it doesn't seem likely. I don't care about armor upgrades, we'll move on. What I will do though is buy some healing. So I feel like that will be more cost effective for me. Just restock the ones that I did use. Yeah, that should be good. I think nine of the major healing and we should be fine. We know there's even more healing items. So we saw there was like the poco oil or whatever. So if we really just needed more healing, it's fine. So this is the strange ship. No charge, no matter how many passengers hop aboard. Hmm, that is suspicious. Where are you taking us? Oh boy, chat. We just got kidnapped. Yay! actually making it to a destination oh there we go now we're ignoring the blinking dot or not <laughs> we're just taking a scenic route okay Oh no, we're just circling the island endlessly. Cool. Mm hmm. Any moment now, game, you can go back to the plot. We'll we'll do it. I don't mind. Okay, there we go. Hmm. Uh huh. How strange. You should have arrived at Bazir by now. Something must be wrong. What was that? <laughs> we all ran to Charlotte. <laughs> I don't think this happened when I played as the other character. So maybe maybe there is a significant portion of the game that is different. I don't remember this ship at all. I don't like this. I'm scared. So this is interesting, I guess. Atmosphere. I was gonna say, the true horror is making me sit in a 20-minute boss battle with no cutscene skips. Yeah, I really don't remember this if this occurred with the other characters. Uh-oh. No, no, wear me off. I want to go home. Oh, the fairy's talking. I do feel the presence of spirits nearby, but it's faint. So these might be... There might be an elemental in this scary boat. I can't be certain, but stay on the lookout. Something's coming. Be careful. Uh... Level 13? Wow, that's a... That is a kind of significant level jump. I think we could all agree, chat. Jeez. I'll just keep murdering our way forward for now. Oh, I can't run because I accidentally built charge. Title is Curse Column. Title is Blood Book. How do I get into that room? That room looks more interesting. This is Death Diary. 
Okay. Was there another door that I didn't see? I didn't think so. Hmm. All right, chat, that's very suspicious. I'll come back and see this, but I can't do anything with this. What does Charlotte say if I try to read these? Oh, she can read it. Well, let's heal. So, I have a couple more levels to raise spirit a bit higher on Duran, so I think I'm going to focus on that over stamina for the next three or four levels. And the rest will constantly go to strength, because obviously strength is where we're going to be murdering everything. So I think I'm going to lean him more towards being a dark swordsman, because I believe if you go dark, generally it means you have higher attack power. So we'll be going that route, I think. Shield looks so cool. Yeah, I don't want a paladin. No interest. It is potentially useful since it cuts down damage, but in a game where I have like a million full heals, I don't really need to reduce damage. If I was playing without a primary healer, I think I would go that route because I think that teaches him healing magic. So he could have been the party healer while also being high damage, for example. But uh, that's kind of overkill with Charlotte. Head hazard. Interesting. Hmm. I am really not... Ooh, that enemy was really easy to kill. If we could get a couple more of those kills, that's kind of worth it for the level up. Oh. We found a place to rest. Cool. Oh, we got ambushed. We deserve that, I guess. I was like, wow, that really is too easy. What happens if I sleep again? Does it actually let me rest? Let's find out together, chat. Amazon level. Do you get more strength? Nope. Let's raise spirit up a little. Aw, I don't think it'll let me rest. Or will it? No. It was worth a try. So anyway, let's use healing. Yeah, unfortunately, the ability to target more than one ally is considered a class ability, and it's not like if I level up enough or use it enough times, I'll get access to different kinds of heals. So it is strictly based off of the class that I select here. We're going to heal herself. I love that Durin and uh, Lenith have basically the same HP total. That's kind of funny to me. So even though he's technically lower level, it's fine. Blood book, death diary, curse column, death diary. Okay, so maybe I had to read the books in a specific order. I'm going to write this down. Blood book, death diary. I was wondering how we got into that other room, and that makes sense. I could have brute forced it, but I think it was worth coming up here with the official solution. There's an invisible force blocking the way. Alright, so there's nothing else we could do, so we've got to go back down. Yeah, these enemies are actually fairly easy to kill because of our high attack power. So it might be worth killing just a few of these. Just a few. Though not worth fighting this zombie. The zombies do not seem worth fighting, so I'm going to skip them going forward. If I can avoid it. I want to fight those. Imps, imps are easy kills. I have no reason not to kill them. They're like three hits at most. Not too bad. Taking big damage again. Go through here. Force ourselves to heal again. Again, I'm glad I have a healer here because this would have been really annoying. Draining our resources. We still have nine fairy walnuts, just keep in mind. So I have like near unlimited healing, just for clarity. The reason why I have the other healing items is just so I don't have to sit through this animation. 
But since I'm looking to conserve it before a big fight, I'll just burn what we have. All right, so the order we wrote down was Blood Book, Death Diary, Curse Column, Death Diary. So Blood Book was in the middle, right? No, that's Curse Column. So let's put these into numbers. So it'd be two. This one is which one? Death Diary. So it's three, one, two, one, if we translate that into numbers. So let's reset the room. Wow, immediately got hit while in the readying weapon animation. That right there, chat, is an example of stuff that pisses me off. <laughs> like, like, if you want to make me really cranky in a game, make me hit by something I literally can't do anything to because I'm in, a, in an animation. That is a choice. Makes me very cranky. Alright, so now we open this path up. Great enemy placement vibes, it's something. Is this the ship's log? Captain's diary. Oh, they did a D-I-E, I see what they did there. Captain's diary chat. <clears throat> Whoa, that's disturbing. You're telling me he didn't even put spaces in between the words. Hello there. Fine, I'll talk to you. I got nothing better to do. It's me, Metello, the supernatural enthusiast. I fulfilled a dream of mine. I'm a ghost. But now that I've tried it out, I think I'll go home. I don't think that's how that works, Metello. Now it's your turn to try. Farewell. Try what? Yeah, wait, what? No way. I can't give up the ghost yet. This ain't fair. Looks like whatever curse that man has passed to you. Once you're cursed, you can't get off the ship until you give it to someone else. Give it to someone else. Oops. They run. Hey, you're gonna abandon me then, is that it? Does it really matter? We're considering switching places with one of your friends. Don't deny it. Huh, you got me. Whoever, whatever made this curse is on the ship. The rest of the group should look for it. I'm counting on you. Be here if you want to take my place and let me search instead. Oh no. Oh no. I have to choose between healing and DPS. Oh, this this feels terrible. I guess I try to switch places with him. Can I? Or you're not gonna let me. You're not gonna let me? I gotta do it with this team. Oh, that is a big yikes. Uh, let's not do it with Lenneth. Let's take the character that has way more attack power. Oh, this is going to be very tedious. I could bring in two melee characters. My concern is, like, if I have to fight a boss, I really don't want to be without healing, to be honest with you. And while I have a lot of candies, this is not a scenario I had to encounter in the other portion of the game. I don't appreciate this. Let's try to get through here. Now there's people in here. Got attacked on the way out. Cool. Please let me get through. Hmm. The zombies are just really not worth fighting. They do so much damage, as you can see. This really sucks. I didn't realize we were going to be forced into such a long encounter. Oh, she could get hit while spellcasting. Oh, she is so dead then. I didn't realize that was a mechanic until just now. Well, emergency chocolate so she doesn't die spellcasting. Alright. Oh, uh, she died anyway. Thanks, game. I think I'm in big trouble here. So she's out of magic, but I can recover that. Yeah, this really sucks. I didn't realize this was going to be a thing. 
Yeah, the zombie enemies do a lot of damage, and even though I have, like, the best weapons in the shop, they are not good enough to kill them fast enough. This area really sucks. So I went here, and then there's nothing to do here. So where does the game want me to go? Please dodge. Hopefully if she's off screen, she doesn't get hit. That's what I'm hoping. I'm gonna stab you. Get all, get away from me. Get away from me. No, just let me. Just let me through. I don't want to fight you. You're not worth it. The imps are worth killing. Oh, I leveled randomly. That's awkward. Um, I level spirit again. Yeah, let's do that. Awkwardly, she was the one that leveled and not this character. So she's off screen, so I can't force her to heal, which is also awkward. She's just gonna die again. I don't really know what I could do to prevent this. I'm forced into a lot of hallways with a lot of enemies, and I don't know where the game wants me to go. Hmm. Was there an indication of what I should be doing? So I don't want to sleep in the beds because we just get ambushed. I have less party members, so it's a little harder to stun lock. And she does zero damage, even with the weapon upgrades. I somehow managed to get a kill, which is fortunate. <laughs> Went to go use the paper there. Are we making progress? Fog is too dense to see anything. Wait, was something looking through the window? Apparently. My uh, imps are worth killing, because they're just three attacks. They're nowhere near as horrendous as the zombies. So I might be able to get a level up that I need here. Since I was not expecting a two-man challenge, no way am I doing that room. No, thank you. <laughs> right, chat? I'm just, I saw that and went, nope. There we go. This is the level up that I need. So let's raise spirit, I think, for now. Help us with the future. We'll take stamina later if we need it. Nope. So she's basically just going to keep me alive and I'm going to have to be the DPS. Which is fine. It's fine if that happens. Oh, this is less fine. This is not, this is no longer fine. No longer fine. We need to get out of here. <laughs> right, chat? No longer fine. Get me out of here. Endless chomp. Get, get away from me. Oh, is the stunlock real? Is stunlock happening? Hey, we're doing teamwork. Nice. Welcome to my ship of wandering souls. Undo the curse on my friend right now. There's but one way. Defeat me. Nova attacks. Wow, I'm taking insane damage. Well, I have like one strength up left. This will be a very interesting time, chat. Did she seriously still not cast the heal spell on me in that time? Wow, that really sucked actually. So she can be used to basically funnel infinite healing to me. I think I'm going to need. I do pretty good damage, at least. Her damage is mediocre. Silence is not the end of the world. I don't really use my abilities. He's out of range. At least I can always tell where the enemy is by pausing, which is kind of funny. So she doesn't do much damage. I could burn it just for the sake of boosting her damage, I guess. I guess any damage is appreciated at this point. Oh, 
Oh, she did 54. I mean, that was real damage. I mean, I'm glad I leveled her strength just a little bit for this fight. Could have been much worse. I don't like that I don't have any counterplay to this. I'm going to have her, if she can, heal herself. That way she's out of kill range. I'm still good for at least one hit. Oh, try jumping. Can't do anything because she's still attacking. Oh, she silenced. That's unfortunate. Let's use a candy then. Also a good reason to have backup heals. So I guess the strength buff didn't last for very long, maybe. Oh no, she's still 32 every now and then. So if she builds up charge, she does as much as we do, sort of. I'm really hoping this boss does not have a lot of health, or we could be here a while. I'm gonna safety candy myself. Guess I could have brought two melee here. Wasn't as bad as I was thinking to get here, but it is unfortunate. Get out of kill range here. This would have been really miserable if I was playing as like Angela. If I was forced into this fight. Is it basically if I didn't have medicinal herbs, I wouldn't even be able to spell cast? Right now I don't need them. We got enough spare candies that it doesn't matter. I would like eventually to be able to spell cast again, but we'll see. Getting Dark Falls, chat. Come into a place where I can hit you, please. I get to play the game. Does silence ever wear off? I feel like it's been around forever. If it doesn't, that's actually pretty annoying. Let me just cure it, because I just like to use her healing since she's not doing that much damage, sadly. I just want her to heal herself. Save myself some candies, maybe. Oh, now he dies. That wasn't too bad. As I said before, I probably could have gotten away with melee. But at the same time, I wasn't sure if we were going to get a chance to get our other character. They've now leveled. Our MP has returned. You have released my wandering souls. I will lend you my power and free your cursed compatriot. Shade acquired. Thank you all for helping me. Leneth joined the party. Love how they're all level 12. Shade, if you're here, does that mean the Darkstone's on the ship? Unfortunately, the Darkstone has been lost. It may no longer be in this realm at all. Huh? The world faced devastation from a war not seen since the rise of the Benevidons. The ever-increasing darkness activated the Darkstone. But then, what happened to the Benevidon of Darkness? Humankind tried to harness the energy of the Monostones to bring peace to the world. However, they soon fought over control of that energy. Dark forces took advantage of this, and soon the world spiraled into an all-out war. My grandpa used to tell me stories about that at bedtime. It scared me so much I couldn't sweep. The seal on the Darkstone was broken, and the creatures of darkness, including the Benevidon, brought the world to the brink of destruction. Since then, the Darkstone disappeared. Bereft of my home, 
was forced to wander the seas in this ghost ship for many long years. I think he owes us a big apology, Chad. Do you know what happened to the Benevidon of Darkness? How did the world avoid utter destruction? I do not know. The creatures of darkness simply disappeared without warning. What? It has been many years since then. The world recovered, but, but the Benevidon is not gone for good. I believe the monster may have once again returned to the Darkstone, may even have been sent to this realm again. So even though humans have no way to deplete mana power, the reason it's become so scarce might have something to do with the Darkstone. So why? Whoa! With the souls dispersed, the ship has no more place in this world. What? Oh no! Okay. He owes us a very big apology. Are we not even going to be able to go back to the market? Please don't take me to the volcano. I wanted to go back to the black market. You very cruelly stopped me from going back to the place that I should have been able to go back to. Big sigh, chat. Okay, well, I guess we're going to have to live without buffs for a while. Hmm? Huh? Wait, where? Is this Bayuka Island? Oh no, the volcano looks ready to explode. We gotta escape. Uh... <laughs> well, this kind of sucks. <laughs> right, Chad? I'm like, well... I just wanted to uh, restock at the only place where we can restock in the game, but uh, nope, apparently. Big nope to that. So we could get full healed here, which is okay. But I am a little worried we're now without stat buffs for the foreseeable future. I thought something was going to happen after we went to the king. I didn't think we would end up here. But here we are, I suppose. Hmm. So yeah, I feel like I... I'm guessing that's a Kappa. I'm supposing from the standpoint that I could have gathered even more stat buffs, but it's like, geez, I carried nine with me. We went, what's that? We saw like a scuba dive turtle thing go by us with the beak. It's probably a Kappa. Can't do anything here. Can't go down there. Can't interact here. So we saw it go by, but I didn't see an obvious place to walk. Maybe it's just something like a little off screen. This time the screen shook. Ah, uh, I'm able to go over here now. Let's not go there quite yet. What was the other way? Oh, there is no other way. Never mind. Curiosity sated. So we'll go forward for now. I will probably end up splitting our little playthrough a little bit here. Oh, it can summon friends. That's cute. Wow, they give so little XP. The summon friends, that is. 4 XP compared to 23. So I'm presuming we're about to find Salamando. Because he is the fire element. So we already fought the dark enemy. So that means if there's anything where we can gain like lightsaber, for example. We already missed the boss that's useful on. Which is kind of unfortunate, to be honest. Not saying that maybe there aren't some later bosses that don't use it, but that was the most obvious of them for sure. Okay. Uh, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna heal on this screen. Heal Leneth. 
Right now, I don't... I mean, I'm taking an okay amount of physical damage. It's more just... Making sure we navigate this area okay. We got a couple kills here and there. It's not the end of the world. Oh, that's not good. That could be big damage, potentially. Oh, that's only 38. That's fine. Please don't die before you heal. If she dies, I'm just going to leave the screen. <laughs> it's that simple, chat. If she dies, just reset screen. Yeah, these things are very vicious. We're going to use her healing again. I just need to be above 100. Anything below 100, I think, is a little dangerous. It's kind of a shame Lenneth is taking so much damage. I would have hoped with her having a spear, she would actually have a weapon range advantage, but she's still, like, really close. So that's pretty unfortunate, to be honest. Kind of going back into my complaints about the game, there's not really, like, a big difference between sword and spear to me. It's very weird. Because in any other game, they would play very dramatically different. But not this one. I'm gonna hit this guy because he's in my way. Can you please stop casting magic spells on me? That's quite annoying. My companions happen to get a kill. It's fine. I can tell Charlotte maybe to get through this. Leave our allies to melee a bit more. So we have two paths here. Okay, let's check out the closest path and we'll check out the furthest path. Okay. I found a village. Oh, they're not attacking. This is Tomato Town. The eruption is imminent. If you wish to escape, you should do so now. Remain here and let nature take its course. Wow, they're just fully prepared to die, chat. HP and MP are restored. Nice. Save the game. Need village that wants to die, pretty much. Oh, conversation with these three. Oh, you're a shop. Oh, that's actually a pretty significant defense increase. Hmm. I did not mean to buy two. That sucked. It lagged on me, chat. Now I'll get it because I don't feel like menuing as much. So we skipped one set of upgrades, saved like 200 or so gold, lost very little. So I'm going to just restock my candies real quick from the boss fight on the ship. Get my couple wishes back. Oh, I didn't even use them. Oh, that's convenient. Are you, this, are you the weapon person? If you're the weapon person, I'm more interested in this. I might not bother with Charlotte's weapons anymore. She seems to barely do more damage. Like, five damage I don't think I care about. But the other characters are more significant, I think. Like, I guess if I truly have enough money, I could just buy it for the sake of buying it. But in terms of, like, cost efficiency, it doesn't feel like it's worth it. Since she barely does damage. Uh, 16 spare candies. Got the harpy fang in there if I need it. Actually, I guess I could put the Harpy Fang in here just to see what it does. Oops. Ooh, that lag on that menu. Okay, now that I have everything here, I could just do it all at once. I basically don't want to keep going in the equip menu due to it being this slow. But I think having an almost 8 damage difference on top of... Taking 16 less damage is kind of important here if I'm going to be here a while. Controller, please. Controller, please, I beg of you, do not go downwards. Come on. Switch controller, please. I'm begging you. The menu's already so slow. I don't need you holding a random direction. There we go. Don't need anything there. I accidentally got two of these. But I'm hoping with, like, 18 more defense, that might make it worth it. We'll see, though. It 
So yeah, 10 extra damage hit, I think is good. Although I'm still getting a little bit of controller drift, I'm noticing, unfortunate. Okay. So let's see if this tunes down the damage so I don't have to heal. I'm hoping the time spent in that really slow menu. Ruler of the seas resides in the cave of the west of town. To leave this island, you must ask for its aid. However, the entrance to the cave, the top of the mountain, has been caved in by a huge rock. Destruction may come before you get dig around it. Okay. So we gotta talk to the Kappa thing in order to escape the island. We have a place to save. I'm hoping by having more defense, I will have to menu a little less. And that's how I'm going to save time. But the downside is that my controller spazzed out and uh, made me sit in that really atrocious menu much longer than normal. But anyway, I don't want to get into too many fights here. And hopefully by having 18 or more defense, we should be fine. I didn't bother with helmets, as I said before. Even if they sold them, they've only been offering like one to two defense increases. 15 is significant enough for me to care. Goodbye, Egatris. Don't care about you. Yeah, it's basically halving our damage so far. Hmm. Does not seem worth it coming over there. Actually, the screen vibrated for a second, so I'm not sure what happened there. On the plus side, yeah, see that? Like, I just got a weapon upgrade for Charlotte. She literally doesn't do any damage. It's kind of sad. So unless she has the charge attack, she does nothing. Oh, they're bullying there. It's kind of nice. Oh, I guess it was just for flavor. Whatever. Okay, so we're going to smack these things and move on. Still taking a hilariously high amount of damage, sadly. Wish I could run so that our allies don't get attacked. Let me cast heal on myself, I think. So sadly, the small strength increases are not proving useful. Her, just stat her general stats are just so much lower than the others. Didn't I just heal myself? Wow, that was crazy how much damage I just took. Keep in mind, that was with the defense up. I just took that much damage. So that's basically three candies worth of stuff I just recovered. Allies, can you please hit this thing before we all die? Alright, listen, if they're, if they're not going to be aggressive enough, I will take control. Like, we need to not get comboed by them. I think we just took 73 damage? Wow. Oh, well, I just took a million damage, unfortunate. Wow, chat. Keep in mind, that was with the armor increase. Could you imagine if I didn't get the armor increase? I think I would have party wiped just then. Like, not an exaggeration. So I guess in some ways it was helpful, but in other ways, I'm still unfortunately needing to menu a lot. We did get a couple levels on the ghost ship at least, but wow. Brutal area. Really hoping for this class upgrade. You have no idea, chat, how much better life will be once we get more spells. Even just AoE heal would be huge for us. Please kill the Egatrice before it does something terrible. Oh my gosh, this thing is like unkillable to me. Alright, so Egatris not worth fighting. I think we could just bluntly state. That thing is like so tanky compared to everything else. So we gotta find the easy things to kill. Tomato, the tomato people were easy to kill. The rabbites were mostly okay. But we need some serious XP. Okay, so there's nothing else I could have done in this room. That's a shame. Hmm. Let's go this. Oh, no, we can't do anything over here. So what do we do? Oh, what will you do? 
I don't know. What will I do? Do I summon wind or earth? Can't do anything here. You mentioned the rock at the top. Do I summon gnome to move the rock or something? What do you want me to do here? Looks like it's my time to shine, eh? There's a cave entrance here, but the volcano plugged it right up. Give me a second, I'll fix it for you. Be seeing ya. I'm not sure how the rock that I stood at correlated to opening that specific area, but that's fine. Let's not think about it. It's a shame these other characters have MP, but can't do anything with it. One day, chat. One day. These things are really evasive, and I'm not doing that much damage to them. And they heal? Oh, I'll kill them for now just to see their XP, but I think we gotta skip these two enemies. Get upgraded to the mini boss from Secret of Mana. 37 XP is a lot. Town pole, I don't mind. That I think we could bully pretty easy. Yeah, they're very tanky. Sure, what what item do you drop? Single candy? Huh. Yeah, I'm hoping the tomato people will be easier to kill, comparatively. As long as they don't spam things like heal. Oh, leveled. Um... I can't raise spirit. I guess I'll still raise strength just because. Maybe she'll do some damage. Alright, that room wasn't too terrible to clear. So it's very likely we're gonna level soon. I don't want to check the status menu for the obvious reason that, oh my gosh, it'll take an eternity and I'll never escape the menu. But I'm hoping this room will give us the level we need. Okay, we did get the level. Definitely going to strength. I think we can all agree, chat. We need more damage. Need more damage. So we'll kill you and we'll move forward. Take another candy, perhaps. Ooh, bad luck. Oh, never mind. We're still good. Mystery seed attained. Oh. Uh, I think we need those for later, by the way. That was kind of random, but we'll take it. So again, we can plant those seeds potentially in the inn. Oh, just trying to hit him before he can heal. So close. I'm worried that Leneth is going to die here. Yeah, these enemy combos are not fun to fight, for sure. Kill spam is real. Why don't you heal Leneth, and then we should be good to go. Okay. So I'm hoping that'll catch up the XP I got from ignoring the ship earlier by spending some time there. And let's move. Let's go forward. As long as the tomato guy dies at a reasonable pace, him healing here is not the end of the world. So I'll also kill this room on the off chance we can level Leneth. Because I would like to get to a point where I get our other class, and then after that I don't care for a while. Yeah, the Lizardon is fortunately fairly easy to kill for how much XP he gives. So I don't mind fighting him. I am going to heal us again. I'm out of MP. I'm going to use Candy to heal. Oh, it silences a target. Interesting. So use a couple of candies here. Take some safety HP in case there's no healing statue in the next area. Hopefully there is, but you never know. This is fine. We'll take this fight. Amazon level. Please let me level strength. I can't. Okay. Let's level Spirit then. So I think she's set up for her next level up without me needing to worry. Then I can start focusing on stamina maybe. Yep, 
Yeah, I'm not sure if level comes into the damage formula at all, or if it's just purely strength and weapon damage that I'm not entirely clear on. Like how it says I won, but he was hitting me. That's interesting. Yeah, this XP seems somewhat worthwhile without being ultra tedious. The only downside really is the Tomato Man with his uh, moves. Every other enemy is pretty easy to kill. the thing in the top, but I don't think they're gonna help me with it. Because he's gonna do this. Which you can see for the obvious reason why I don't like fighting that enemy. He's easy enough to kill. Unless he keeps spamming heal magic like this and wasting our time. Game's actually trolling. I might use the heartbeat bang on him over a boss, to be honest with you. This is obnoxious. I finally killed him, though. Man, oh man, Chan, I am gonna be so happy when we get the ability to AoE heal so I can save a lot of time in these menus. Because until then, Charlotte is unfortunately a super dead weight in our party, at least in DPS. Her healing is somewhat nice, but if we have like raw DPS, we also don't need this much healing. Since we have uh, nine candies, nine chocolate bars, etc., etc. Which is faster than her magic, by the way. I'm not sure if there's a gold statue up ahead. I'm just healing preemptively in case there's not. No sense in coming in here with like 50 HP. Yeah, these enemies I think are okay to kill. I just don't like the tomato man. Once he's gone, I think we're fine. A little bit of bonus XP there. Really prefer not to fight those enemies. Will take forever. There's a path down there. Nothing immediately obvious. Is there a room over here? Or am I no. So we're absolutely not fighting with Potos. They are a complete waste of time. Their constant heal spam, zero percent like. Hate it, Chan. No, no, no! Don't fight them. Let me go. Stop stun locking me. Thank you. I candy myself. <laughs> I'm just getting comboed by the tadpole things. Of course, he's getting healed full screen. Where's the exit? Hopefully this is it. Right, there's no... There's no Poto, so I'll fight this thing. Since I think we do need levels, this is a simple core. The closer we get to 18, the happier I'm going to be. Like, there's, there's the concept of being a minimum level. I just want to hit the minimum level. Okay, there's the full heal. So I was mostly justified in using the walnut getting here. We did take quite a beating. So I conserved some resources. Everybody gained a level. This is a long dungeon. Let's go this way. Or not. <laughs> Oh boy, Chad, I don't know where to go. Um, I'll go left first, I guess. Something just for an easy one way. Oh. Well, let's not go that way. <laughs> right, Chad, let's just let's just party swap to somebody that got stuck. Oh, what was that? Was it just me or there's like a visual bug briefly? Like something went through the wall over here. It was weird. Anyway, let's just focus on escaping. See, the sad part is if Charlotte managed to get, like, a weapon buff, she would actually be useful. Like, if we, for example, had a fire weapon right now, we would be doing probably a bazillion damage to these enemies, even with Charlotte. Which is why I think her strength is still somewhat okay to raise. I don't take a lot of preference in stamina at the moment. Oh, 
Wait, that is the only way we could go? Hmm. So many random enemies fighting us. Let's hope that this is enough to level one of our characters. We'll find out in a moment. On the plus side, we paid for all of our equipment. So if we need to buy a million more buffs, we should be good. Also, chat, I'm so glad I bought like 9 million candies before we got here. Get some healing, move this way. Actually, heal me here as well. Saw an enemy respawned, I don't feel like fighting him. Just want to make sure I have HP to survive this room. So was there another path I didn't see here? Or maybe I have to clear it and then something will happen? Because both areas look like a dead end to me, that's why I was confused. Maybe there's something simple I'm missing. Could be a candy, most likely a trap. It's a chocolate. Alright, we're not fighting this thing, this thing is a waste of time. No interest, chat. Okay, so there's nothing to do down here. There's nothing to do in the other room. Hmm. That thing is ultra evasive. Hmm. No prompts when I walk near the floor. Uh, attack once with Charlotte, just so that they start aggressively attacking this thing. Well, she's starting to do damage again. 15's okay. 15's okay, I will say. that That's okay damage. It could be much worse. So that's where we came from, but I didn't understand where to go. Was there another path here that I just didn't see? Uh, let's do this real quick. I'm actually confused where we have to go. Let's save. Hmm. Plus side, experience money. Downside, where's the plot? So I just went this way. Is this just a d big dead end? Is there actually something to do over here? Because this seemed pretty definitive. What am I missing? Let me also check this room real quick, just to make sure it's not like... There's nothing hidden over here, no prompts. Hmm. I'm gonna rub against the wall, maybe? <sighs> Not this enemy type. Nothing to do here. Nothing to do here. The healer is surprisingly not heal spamming. It's merciful. Do I have to kill all the enemies to see some new dialogue or something weird? So we're bullying the enemy. Oh, come on. Chat, come on. Seriously, that's what it was. <sighs> Just a magic seed. My disappointment is immense. Yeah, that's a really lame way to stop me from progressing. Just one of these rooms arbitrarily requires all kills. Nice. Row magic item. Yeah, I don't want to use that then. Walled off a mystery seed. Mystery seed, I think, is the thing that we need for class stuff later. So, like, I'm happy to have received it. Don't get me wrong. But, uh, right now it's not that useful. Let's get some of the candies we had from before. Wow, even when you select this, there's a lag. Just to give you an idea, chat, I'm going to tell you when I'm pressing up, and then that way you can understand why I'm complaining about the menu. So I'm going to hit confirm. Up, 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 up. Wow. I mean, that's like a that's like a three second lag, chat, for real. Welcome, Void Money. Like, I want to I want to explain that for people that are not physically holding the controller to understand why I was complaining about the menu. Like, that is just unreal. Whole seconds delay chat. Unreal. 
Uh, we'll just heal ourselves one more time here. Let's go in. Oops. Leaned on the controller. That was my fault. So yeah, we're gonna clear this area and then I think we'll take a break. Please don't make me fight the Potos. Potos are horrendous. Okay, good. They're skippable. Remember playing translated versions of this? Well, this is the official translation. Hmm, both areas seem very similar. I really don't want to fight when it's a Potos, unless I can one-shot the Potos. Then it's, then it's tolerable. The moment he starts healing, bad things happen. Wow, he's worth 44 XP. So this area is e worth even more XP than the other area. So it's very likely I'm going to level at this rate. So enemies are now three levels above me, chat. So the game, I think, assumes that I've been hardcore grinding. Uh, joke's on the game. I'm not. Actually, I should probably just kill this room since we already did so much damage. This makes sense to finish it. I was one swing from killing the Potos. That is so sad. There we go. So yeah, we'll get the kills here since we're now three levels behind the area. I'd like to get one more level on our main characters. If we can. Cleric getting... And level spirit. Let's get strength again. Honestly, chat, little girl's going in. I, I need all the DPS I could get at the moment. All right, so what's over here? More Potos. Gross. I mean, she's doing damage now. She's doing more than one. That's all you can really ask for. Her charge attack does real damage. But she's got a long way to go, mostly due to her bad weapons. Fighter leveled. Can I get more strength? Nope. Can I get spirit? Yes. Okay, so that's the last time I'm going to touch spirit for a while. That's just in prep for the class level up. And let's heal basically everybody. Oh! I didn't realize there's another enemy here. Uh, that character's probably dead. <laughs> right, Chad? I thought the fight was over because we leveled. I did not realize there's one left. Hello. Uh, that was brutal. Please come back to life. No, you're not going to come back to life. I'm going to reset the room. No, 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 no. Oh, the tadpole came back. I'm going to reset the room just so I can heal. Heal yourself. As long as we keep leveling spirit, it means her healing will kind of keep up. Whew. Man, what a... What a slog to get to this area. Holy... What is the boss gonna be like? I should probably hit level 14 with Lenneth before we continue. If we could get strength up, this would be huge and save a lot of time. I think it's worth going for. We have three really easy to kill enemies spawned here. Hoping this is the level up right here. Damn, it wasn't. I guess because she was on the ghost ship, she didn't level. No, 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 not Potos, not Potos. Potos wastes so much time. Right, chat, anything but the Potos. I beg of you, please anything other than Potos. The fact that they heal is so horrendous. <sighs> Every single one to be Potos. Alright, I'm gonna fight until she levels, and then we'll move on. I missed my super attack. Does our ally knock them out of my range? Not even a skill issue, I just got trolled by AI. And I missed our special there. Please hit, thank you. This is why I don't like fighting the Potos if it wasn't clear. Wow. Can I please stop missing? Thank you. Like, one more hit and he dies, I think. Right here. Or he'll do the insta-cast. Cool. Oh my god. Why? Why did they make this enemy, chat? I'm, I'm going to complain about this when we get to the end of the session. Why does this enemy exist so early in the game? When we have so few options to deal with it. 
so sad, chat, that that's in the game. So he's dead. Amazon finally leveled. We can level our strength. Perfect. That's all I want, chat. Just one DPS in case the boss has good defense. Because we lost our ability to get strength ups because the game really cruelly stopped us from reaching the next area. We are at a point where we can almost get a class upgrade. So probably not this area, but the next area. We should have enough roll uh, XP potentially to class up. Oh wait, there's more? This doesn't just lead to the boss? Oh no, chat. Please rush the Poto so he never casts a spell. Okay, there we go. A good Poto is a dead Poto, chat. Oh, pl please tell me this is at least the boss. Can we all agree? This is a pretty long dungeon. This is our second full heal statue. We have not seen a mini boss or anything yet. I'm hoping that this is the end. Get a little bit of bonus XP for later, in case it's useful. I'm gonna use this door to run if it's the, uh, Potos. Oh, it's just another candy. So at least it's, like, somewhat easy to restock MP and HP. Even if you don't have a healer. See, I'm hoping those extra levels will speed up the boss. You're trapped? Okay, so there was like one room between us and the boss. What is this? Who are you? Oh, there's the red-eyed person. I am Malikoshio. In accordance with his Dark Majesty's prophecy, I'm here to end your lives. It is foretold that you may disrupt his Majesty's plans. Heard some nice Chrono Trigger sound effects. There's a few of them sprinkled throughout. I think you heard the magic effect. Funny enough, Void Money, we were calling out earlier. They have like that Chrono Spin Slash where he twirls around the screen. They straight up have that. One of the enemies used it on us earlier. Red Eyes, you must be the man that Traitor and Vizier mentioned. Give me back my brother, Elliot. Oh, so you are Lorenz Princess. I have no intention to return the prince. His dark majesty has need of him yet. Who is his dark majesty? And what are you doing? Or what are you going to do with my brother? There's a sound effect of Super Mario RPG that was recycled in FF7. Interesting. There's no need for you to know. After all, you will not leave here alive. The volcano will soon bury you all. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, melodramatic vampire yet again. Welcome on a series. Oh no, the volcano is erupting already. Whatever shall we do? Oh, we're getting bodied by rocks. Where's the giant kappa thing to the rescue? There you go. It's got this little scuba gear, goggles. What is that? Wait, are you trying to help us? There you go, chat. Boom, 3D explosion. Smithy's hammer, sound effects, and Eris rod, nice. Look at him flip flop. It's friend shaped. Oh gosh, where is it taking us? Are we never going to reach the one place I wanted to go to? <laughs> Am I actively being trolled? Please don't put me in the upper left. I beg of you, please don't put me in the upper left. Just take me back to the Bazir. I beg of you. Don't put me in the desert. Go to the red dot this time for real. Oh, remember that beach I found earlier? Is that where it's dropping us off? Oh, so that was plot relevant. Thank you for all your help. And it goes away without further word. Let us go back to Velsina and ask the Hero King about the rest of the Mana Stones. Yeah, I wanted to do that earlier, game. <laughs> right, chat? Wait, no, this is not the place I thought we were at. We're... Oh, it put us on the Golden Road? Oh. I forgot that that was the path down there. Okay. I know where we are, at least. I have to go this way, I think, to go to Valsina if I want to take the cannon. But the question is, can I take the boat to go to the market? 
I know we're really close to 18 to get class level 2, but I am not doing another boss without strength ups. I'm sure chat does not disagree with that at all. Just, I don't want to. So I'm gonna go to Jad to go to... Poros to go to the market. Then we'll see what the king wants. The strength up is too valuable, chat. Being able to even do like 30, 40 more damage a swing on a boss with like 3,000 health, I'm like, yes, please. So we'll have to remember we have to go back to Maya later when the game asks us inevitably. I'll have to remember Maya equals Golden Road. It's funny that I'm here. I wonder if I could just talk to him again to take me somewhere else. Maybe I have to leave and come back. Because I actually don't want to go to this location. I want them to take me to somewhere else. Are you really not going to let me? Are you really not going to? <sighs> Do I have to leave town and come back? I know you will take me to where I need to go. Just, I need you to. I just need you to cooperate, game. I know you will take me to other destinations. I'm gonna leave the screen. We're gonna make the music reload, and hopefully now we're allowed to go to where I need to go. Right, chat. Wave your finger. Let me go to where I need to go. Don't mess with me, game. I know you can take me to where I need to go, unless you suddenly have locked this out. Oh, <laughs> yeah, thanks. There we go. I had to I had to trick him. <laughs> so this is just kind of like really slow cannon travel from Secret of Mana, <laughs> unfortunately. chat hold on we we got somebody that has another twitch addiction this particular user has over 230 channels being actively watched at the same time let's let's go liberate them from the chat <laughs> be free brian q scubbers <laughs> a very natural sounding username of course from a very normal natural person Oh, thank you, Chris Grimm, for the raid. Hopefully you're doing well. We're trying to trick the game into telling- to getting back to where I actually want to go. So I have to constantly go between the ports here, which is a bit unfortunate. Indeed, avoid money back with the raid. So we got through a horrific back-to-back -back series of bosses. And I would like to go to the night market, but the game is not cooperating. There we go. Thank you, Chris Grimm, for resubscribing. So there we go, chat. It only took four boats and a cannon to get to the place that was one destination away from Maya. Because, you know, reasons, I guess. I like that I literally had to go to the far right of the world to go to the middle. I don't super get it, but that's fine. We're all good now. I guess I could have walked from Maya, technically, to go here. But I felt like, out of principle, I'm gonna go take the boat that I wanted to take. Helen's Quest Logic 2. Welcome, Draculina. So I just felt out of spite I wanted to use those boats. Oh, speaking of which, where... Okay. Let's see if anything upgraded here. Yeah, it is really weird that you can't go from Maya to here. You have to, like, do stuff in between. Uh... Don't care about the darts. Alright, before we go any further, hold on. <laughs> 
This might even still be worth doing over using our magic just because it's faster. Where is it? No, I don't care about defense. Defense is for suckers. No, we want max strength. I'm mashing the confirm button, chat. I never, ever, ever want to run out of these again. Like how it's always telling me about hitting my limit. Like, don't you tell me what my limit is. My limit's whatever I want it to be. <laughs> like, you're carrying zero. I'm like, sure. What do you think, Chad? I think I'm gonna stop it around when we hit 6,600. <laughs> I never, ever, ever want to be in that scenario again with the boss. I'm sorry. Did not like that. All right, this should tide us over until we get a class level up. We'll stop at 6,600. Let's see, how many total was that in purchase? Uh, Minor Mallet seems kind of useless, I'm gonna be real with you. I might just put this away. We got 29 Drake skills. You know what? That's fine. That means we could just burn them every battle if we need to. Never again, chat. Will we be without that strength buff against all those bosses? To think that 9 was not enough. Okay. Now we're gonna take out our fury on the poor enemies between me and this king. There's gonna be some sad level 4 monsters. I'm just gonna walk up and basically one-shot them. Get out of the way. So yeah, so far, Chad, we've had to go back to the gold road. I think this is the fourth time in the game. We're not very far in the game. I'm a little concerned about the amount of backtrack that we're already witnessing. It's kind of crazy. Oh, I should probably do something with the seeds at some point. That reminds me. I'll make a note later in our official game notes. I'm not in a rush to do it right this minute. The next time I have to use an in, we'll uh, try to advance it a little bit. Just seeing if there is random items. Nope. So yeah, we're just straight up just going around just slapping, slapping them from existence. Okay. So that should have given us a an okay amount of money back. We still have a lot for weapon upgrades. Zombies. Hate the zombies. <laughs> They're so aggressive. Oh. Dart to the face. You win, Choco Robin. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm fighting my way to go back to Maya. So that way I can take a cannon and I can skip going through a dungeon. And I'm hoping that the cannon is just not arbitrarily not available, like it was earlier. Yeah, so this is the town we were in earlier, which for some reason doesn't allow travel between it and the town we just came from, even though both of them access the water. But let's, let's not think about it too hard. So we're gonna ask this guy, see if he will let us fast travel. I hope the answer is yes. All right, so he says, Cannon business is open. And that there's the only important part of his entire dialogue that I paid attention to. Okay, so let's go straight to our destination. No dungeons. Way we go, Chad. Witness the power of mode seven. Yeah, that reminds me. Actually, no. We already know the answer to that. We we don't have any new abilities despite having that many elementals. We gotta level up more, I think. So all we're looking for is the throne room to talk to the hero king and tell him that we have way more spirits than we said we were gonna go get. You've returned, Leneth. I see you've located four of the eight elementals. You have four left to find. Hmm. So we have Snow Hell, 
Hmm? The Waterstone is in Altina's territory. Its elemental undine may be found to the south of Frostbite Fields in the Labyrinth of Ice. However, I've heard that Altina has already activated the Waterstone's energy. Please take care. We still have to find Luna at some point. We haven't found Dryad. We're technically Salamando. So we're in another mountainside. To the south of the Burning Sands is a place known as the Fiery Gorge. The Firestone and its keeper, Salamando, can be found there. Uh, so fire and ice, opposite sides of the map, makes sense. This one is actually not that far from us. Southeast of here is the sprawling Dusk Moon Forest, home of the Beastmen. Heard the Moonstone lies within its borders, but I know nothing more. Beware of the Beastmen's strength. It would do you well to change your class before you attempt to cross into their land. <laughs> Spoilers, they will kill you. <laughs> right, chat? They will end you. <laughs> so anyway. And then right next to the Ice Continent is yet another place. What's this? The Woodstone is said to be in the woods of Wandara. Dryad the Elemental should be nearby. However, you cannot reach it by land. South of Wandara is Lamp Bloom Woods. The Elfin Settlement of Dior lies within. If you ask the Elves, they may have some advice for you. I hope they don't expect me to memorize each of these locations, because I'm gonna I'm gonna break it real <laughs> real softly to them. <laughs> you receive help from Vuskov to escape Vuka Island. Oh, is Vuskov the turtle? I assume it's because you were chosen by fairy. Here in Valsina, we have a flute that has the power to summon Vuskov. However, because the creature is not fond of humankind, we sealed it away. Vuskov has accepted you. You can use the flute to summon it from any sandy beach in the world. Take it with you. That would have been useful way earlier, but oh well. Ours now. Obtain fairy flute. But I have no room for items. Just sell them at a shop. Get out of here. Shake your head, child. I'm not selling items. I don't know why that can't just go straight to storage, to be honest with you. It's a mechanic. Anyway, I'm just gonna open the chest again. But thou must hold it in your hand at all times. Like, no, I won't. Tina's been quietly attempting to control the monostone from underwater territory nearby. You must hurry. Alright, so I guess I have some freeform picks as to where to go. So other than not doing Beastman first, we have some free reign. Now I do need to level at some point. Level 18 is where we get class abilities and I will finally feel good about what we're doing. Where do you take us? Oh, back to Maya. E yeah, that's fine. Because we're not near a beach. So I guess what I'll do, we'll go towards another location and then we'll pause once we pick a spot. I know there's ice in the north, fire in the southeast, kind of in the middle of the dryad and the far... Well, more like kind of central west is uh, the beast people. The item mechanic were realistic, everyone would have a utility belt, tactical vest, and hiking rucksack. Yeah, they're pretty much like, but thou, the, but thou shall not put the flute in the storage. I'm like, yeah, you told me that the, the mallet was also important. Look where that ended up. Silly people. So, if we could fight something that's vaguely level 18 and get to 18, that would be huge for us. In the meantime, I'll just go one-shotting everything. Okay, so this is the beach we came from. You don't see Snorlax? It's true. Curiosity. Oh man, I'm in the menu again. Pray for me, chat. I'm in the menu. How do you even see how close I am to leveling? Is it here? Yes. 1674? What? I need that much XP? Ooh, that's... 
That's unfortunate. That's going to be a lot of fighting. Oof. That's like 15 whole encounters, more or less. That's kind of brutal. I'm not that close to leveling, let alone getting into 18. So anyway, we have new we have a new buddy. Does chat have any preference where we go first? As I get used to the controls. So I can make him swim towards us with his little goofy face. So I'll try to rotate the camera so that way chat can see his goofy face as he swims. Does he just have a horn button? Why does he have a horn button? I can honk, apparently. So... I guess we'll see what the fireplace is like. So I guess in theory, I could uh, get sabers to deal with this. I want to. I think I'll deal without it for now. Do not question the honk button, just enjoy it, you're right. Alright, so this is where the flame Salamando character is, but where is a beach that we can land on? Oh, impassable. I'm assuming there's a town over here somewhere, because I did see the kingdom. Okay, I found a beach, I found the town. So let's see how high level this area is. If they're decently high level, I would like to power level on them. These have good weapons. 13 attack, I am not going to say no to that. Oof. The weapons are so expensive. That was more than half our cash. So I don't think I can afford armor since we're not grinding. I think I'm okay in terms of candy to beat the next area. Yeah, we just, we need our damage to always go up. That's the only rule of thumb, damage must go up or sad things will happen. So I got 12 more attack power, which is kind of significant given we were only doing 30 earlier. Maybe with this she'll do some damage. I could try to sell my weapons just so I have more money, maybe. Oh, I can even sell my armor there. That's kind of nice. Okay, we're regaining some of our money at least. So that's looking a little less desperate. Okay, that looks so much better. I think Chad would agree. There we go. We went from seven, basically 8,000 down to 2,500 back up to 5,000. It's okay. So if I do need desperation armor, I could buy it here. My question is, how big of a defense increase is the armor? If it's not a lot, I'm skipping it. Uh, just seven? I don't think I care about that. That's not high enough. Listen, we care about DPS, because that means we're in battles not as long, but when you have 246 health, that uh, seven damage does not matter to me at all. Welcome, take a seat. Let's see my new patrons. Let's see. Oh, got attacked by the Navarro thieves. Took all the cargo and sank my ship. What do you have to say, old man, over here? Goods to deliver to Din, the oasis in the east. The desert is crawling with monsters and thieves. Wish me luck, I'll need it. Just too many desert monsters in this part nowadays. Hmm. South of the desert is the fiery gorge. It's always on fire. That's why they call it that. I'm thinking I might move to my old homestead soon. Some skippers have sighted a ghost ship out there on the waters. You be careful now, you hear? Wait, you were on it? Huh? Yeah, unfortunately, we got ghost shipped very rudely. I might add, very rudely. 
I mean, we knew it was going to be that, but the fact that it stopped us from getting our uh, strength ups was uh, another level of rudeness I didn't appreciate. You know what I'm going to do? Since we're going to have to come back here, why don't I plant some seeds? Got a fairy walnut out of it. We will very briefly go into the desert. And then we'll take a break here, I think, before it gets too much later. Press the button to continue. But I just want to get a- I'm gonna get a feel. We'll- we'll save later. I just want to get a feel of how tough these enemies are. So we got a pretty big damage increase. What level are you? Level 17, so they're almost the right level to get a class upgrade. Ooh, we are not doing a lot of damage at all. And that's with the weapon upgrade. Oh boy, chat. 52 experience. This is the enemy I don't want to see, by the way. This bird here is absolute hell. I don't want to fight this enemy. It wasn't even worth XP. Yeah, that enemy type just sucks. For those not aware, it basically spawns into a hyper-aggressive monster that AoE spams feather attacks and does massive damage to everybody. In fact, we almost have a dead party member. I definitely think the other place we're at had much more generous enemy types. I'm gonna leave. <laughs> Alright chat, everybody died but me. Cool. So yeah, this is looking like this is going to be a very interesting uphill battle if I want to get through this area. Like, we we need better enemy types. I'm almost wondering if the Frost Place has better enemy types. What does it look like at night, comparatively? Like, granted, we didn't get the armor, but like, we're still taking like 70-something damage. It going down to 50 does not make that much of a difference to me. So we need to somehow get four levels. I'm imagining the boss will take care of our last level. So we need easy enemy types. So it could be more of those imps. It could be like the spirits. The bullet is not hard. It's just kind of tanky. So it's not very fast to farm, if that makes sense for XP. Holy, we're missing every hit. Yeah, those thi that thing we do not want to fight at all. The beginning th part of it is easy. When it evolves, then that's when it uh, means serious business, and I do not want to touch it. Three of these enemies here is 150 XP. This is not too bad, assuming our allies can stunlock it. Okay, that was big damage from us. So our ally almost dies, cool. I love that I'm at full health, one ally is basically dead. Like, that's fair, right, chat? AI holding me back again, chat. Shake your head. Legit did, like, almost all the damage and took no damage. You're trapped? Okay. Well, we gotta fight this out now. So I guess me positioning is somewhat important here to hopefully get the triple hit. Uh, they seem to be behaving themselves a little better. Exit has appeared. So we need a lot of those, by the way, to level. Like, it's not just like one or two. We cut maybe the experience needed down by a third, if I've been counting correctly. But we're still pretty far off. So that enemy type is okay. I don't mind farming it per se if we really have nothing else, but I'm kind of hoping for something with a little less HP. Like Tomato Man is actually maybe what I'm looking for. It's not necessarily super hard. It stalls a little bit, which is annoying, but like it's pretty easy to wombo combo. Yeah. That is a much better enemy type. Oh, please don't, not Ectris, not Ectris. Nope, nope, nope. <laughs> Just get out of there. Don't let it evolve. It's so horrible what it does. What's over here? Oh. You're trapped. Well, let's kill this thing first, hopefully. Hit both 
of them. Well, because I hit both of them, I skipped a phase. That was kind of nice. So I guess it rewards you for a fast kill. So maybe when we're like over level, they're worth fighting. But right now, they're definitely not. I mean, you can see I'm doing like, what, four damage? With characters with their best weapons possible. So the only person doing any real damage is the uh, warrior character. Even though all the other characters have been getting a decent amount of uh, strength. Kind of sad. So there's another path over there, but what's over here? Should be getting closer to leveling at least. Well, these are only level 15. All oh, these guys are not worth our time. Where's the level 17 ones? Those are worth our time. Wow, the dodges. What a god. What a beast. Man, this place is a really big maze. I'm sure, I like that. I'm not sure if hitting from behind changes its accuracy at all or not. It does seem to evade me a lot if it's facing me. Oh, I took damage. You did it. Come on. There we go. Hmm. So, okay. So our clear is going much better now that we're not fighting the beaks. <laughs> that was step one. Don't fight the murder beaks. I'm looking to see if there's like another save area here because they mentioned the oasis. I would prefer to save there. Or if I get a level and have to be forced to go back to town, that's fine. So she's an FMP to basically cover us for candies as we explore and our damage is okay. Nope, don't want anything to do with that. Okay, I did find the oasis. That was good navigation. I'm proud of myself there, Chad. I got there, there were some other paths that was probably related to the dungeon. So I was like, I don't feel like getting to the town would have required that. Please don't immediately have a better weapon here. Okay, good. One of the only times I didn't want to see an upgrade, I would have been salty. Oh, there's just a guy back here. So I think what we'll do... ...is we will fight a few more kills. And then we will save here for the night. Curiosity, how much XP did we get? We needed 1500 or so earlier. That is not the status menu. Six hundred. That's not too bad then. So four encounters. And I get to check to see if there's anything on the other side. So we could do a little sneak peek. We know enemies are generally harder at night. So I was hoping, you know, maybe we get more XP by fighting and walking around here at night. Take your time, stranger. Watch out for the thieves, they have a fortress in the east, okay. All of his belongings were stolen. On the elder of the town, the ancient scrolls say the burning sand used to be lush and green, but people began fighting for the use of mana power. Till so the plants withered and died, only the oasis survived, the desert has been scarred forever. The scrolls say when the oasis water dries up completely, calamity will be upon us again. Alright, so when the water inevitably dries up. Right, chap? When we when we cause that. I was gonna say, I feel like we're velvet all over again. We're the demon of calamity. Uh, so can't do anything here. There's no hidden items. So at least we found like a little bit of respite in the middle of this very inhospitable terrain. So let's go for a level up. And then we'll uh we'll stop. And I do want to make sure we get this level up as I said before, because the enemies are starting to scale pretty fast compared to us. And we are right near an inn. See, he, he's only worth 39 XP. That is so bad. Sorry to serve retained. So we just need like real fights. Yeah, these are real fights. No. Don't want to fight the other thing. Oh, 
thought I hit it before it transformed. Unfortunate. I'm not even sure what killed it there. I, I just attacked it with, like, psychic damage. So we're getting more cure status ailments, which is okay. Nice, stopped him before he spell casts. That's a perfect amount of XP for how easy that was. I'm mashing my special attack, but it got cancelled by the other attack. So again, Durin is doing real damage, for sure. He is hard carrying the team right now. Right, we managed to get a level up. I think I put a point in strength yet again, and then we can worry about spirit later. Alright. So now we got to see what was over here. By the time we get back and make our save, we should have leveled across most of the other characters. Ooh, that almost leveled up dexterity. That was kind of scary. I'm not gonna lie. Um, I can't level spirit, so I'm just gonna level stamina. Some more HP for us, I guess. I kind of wish uh, stamina also and let you charge up potentially your special attacks faster or something. I do feel like it's missing a little something other than roll HP. If you remember there was like the spirit gauge or will, I think it was willpower in a Final Fantasy Adventure. Would have liked something similar to that. Maybe we have like naturally recharging specials. I mean, she's doing a little bit of damage. And again, since the game re relies on so many auto attacks, I do not mind getting strength on these characters. Oh, really? Lenneth didn't level from that. Interesting. Well, hopefully she levels when we do this. Otherwise, I don't think she's going to level tonight. Please don't die before we get the kills. And she died before we got the kills. Unfortunate. Whatever. <laughs> we're not going to worry about it. We'll save here. So I think what we're going to do is we will try to either go to the fortress or we will be going, I think, potentially to the gorge directly. We'll see. But for now, good place to save. Sorry, Lenneth, for dying, right as you could have probably used that HP. Durin right now is really tanky compared to the other characters. His armor is naturally like 5 to 10 higher than the other characters, and he's got 40 more HP. So he's definitely surviving more hits in general. Plus, I'm also controlling him, so I'm generally not going to take too, too many hits unless it's automatic. So let's, uh, let's chat. Oh, <laughs> you can see my notes again briefly. Hide those. So from that standpoint, in terms of thoughts and feelings, now that we've gone two sessions in, how do we feel about Trials of Mana? Well, I think it does a lot of things pretty well. I think we can celebrate, you know, the NPC dialogue is definitely improved. Uh, towns are a bit more... Cohe cohesive is not quite the right word. They're more... I guess, in the spirit of world building, I feel like there's more dialogue in general, and there's a lot of little quirks to the townspeople, not necessarily from the dialogue, but just what they happen to be doing or wearing or doing other sorts of things, where I feel like these cities have actual identities compared to each other. I like going to the Tomato Village, for example, uh, very briefly on that poor, poor Volcano Island. And I think we've seen some very interesting sprites so far, in terms of uh, especially our new summon buddy with the flute. Combat is still more missed than hit for me, unfortunately. As I said before, I really liked having kind of like mid-range attacks. And I think from coming like from Final Fantasy Adventure, where we had things like, um, you know, the Morning Star or things of that nature that had like big arcing strikes or things that hit really far forward. There's not really an equivalency in this game so far, which is unfortunate. Like there's, I wish I had like some ability to snipe or like I get to trade like being able to potentially multi-hit versus single hit. Cause I think being able to multi-strike would have been kind of nice for lockdown versus necessarily DPS. And definitely giving Charlotte more of a ranged weapon, even if it did less damage 
might have been more useful for stun locks and stuff like that. I, I would have liked having the choice to do it, so I definitely feel disappointed in that department. Um, Spellcasting definitely feels more balanced. There's a lot less bugs. Well, I mean, it's not that hard compared to Secret of Mana, but it feels more fair that I can hit them while they're spellcasting versus them being immune. And you could kind of do that in Secret of Mana versus the bosses, but that also means that our player characters no longer have immunity when spellcasting. So there's more counterplay for the enemies against us. However, I feel for the most part, we don't usually get into stun locks. There are some very aggressive enemies that do hit us a couple times in a row, but it doesn't feel like an infinite so far. I do feel like we're seeing a lot of problems with the enemy balancing. Like, for example, the zombies, compared to like every other enemy type tonight, were bonkers. They were, they were way overtuned. I think we can agree, chat. Between the poison, the big arcing AoE hits, and the, the rapidness of their strikes. I thought zombies were supposed to be slow. <laughs> right, chat? Holy. They're hitting me more than the stupid bird was when it transformed. At least the bird is counterplay. Yeah, we saw some stupid moments going through doors, getting automatically hit. That felt pretty bad. Um... I'm interested when we get to a class change if I'll feel any different about some of the boss fights. But for now, we got all the basics we need to kind of clear what we need to do. So hopefully now that we've gotten uh, two additional spirits, uh, things will hopefully get easier, question mark? So the goal, as I said before, is once we hit level 18, our life should be very, very, very much improved. So not only is this going to give us access to potentially buffs, debuffs, AoE healing, uh, damage spells. Uh, it's also going to raise our stats by a non-insignificant margin. I think it might be somewhere between two to four points in all categories. So just automatically should just make us very tanky and increase our DPS and our accuracy and our luck and all the other stats and potentially magic defenses, which is relevant even for the fighter characters. So hopefully with that, we'll be in a really good position. And I will keep leveling strength on um, Twinkle, even though her damage is pretty terrible. Just because if she is able to do any damage, it does save us time. And her having more health is not necessarily a deciding factor. Her dealing between 3 damage versus 20 damage is a deciding factor for me this early in the game. So I think as long as I keep pumping Strength, Spirit, and then occasionally put a point in Stamina, we should be fine. So far, I don't really see a point in going super defensive in this game. I do see a point in constantly upgrading weapons, though, so we'll continue to do so. I could be using the things to buff our Strength, potentially, as we go through the dungeon to technically speed it up a little bit. And you might see me do that if we go into like level 18, level 19 enemies. Right now, I think we're just strong enough that I think we're fine. Guess I'll give a shout out to Chris again with a little dino, da dino dance, and then we'll do one for Chris Agroom. Now we can see it dance on stream. Oh, it won't play Chris Grimms for some reason. Interesting. Oh well, I tried. Oh, it just queued it up. I see what it did. There we go. I understand what it did now. Good to know that's how that works. But anyway, chat. Uh, It is interesting, I would say, from my experience because I, I have played through the game a while ago with the fan translation before it came out on the switch and it is interesting to me to see that like what happens if you don't bring a core character with you it it does kind of become funny i think in some ways that we're getting more background on like the thieves and the sand fortress and jessica who's captured in a prison who can't die, who can't be mind controlled because she's under a curse we know more about her than durin <laughs> just it, it's really sad but true we even went to durin's hometown we got like maybe two cutscenes. meanwhile hawkeye not even in the party has gotten like full length cinematic updates on what his life is about which i thought was kind of funny 
So I guess that's the unfortunate side if you break the meta, that the game really wants to focus on one villain, and if that person is not in your party when you do it, you'll be getting more information that way. Funny enough, if we do end up playing the remake, uh, I wonder if we'll get more information about Durin if we play as Angela. <laughs> Because <laughs> I think they're technically paired together, for example. But anyway, that'll be for another time. But hopefully, chat, you had a good time. I think this is a good place to take a break. We got some levels. We bullied some enemies. We got bullied a little bit by zombies. But I think we're through at least the hard part for now. We have enough buffs. We have enough items. We have upgraded weapons. I think we should be fine. As soon as we hit level 18, it should just be like a complete difficulty drop as far as I remember. So it's just more of the struggle to get there. So now that the enemies are higher level, I think it's more worth our time than doing it when they were back at level 10, level 11. Like it was okay to get a couple kills here and there, but not quite to the same effect as it is now, now that they're at the level we need to be. So anyway, chat, let's go ahead and say goodbye to YouTube. So if you did watch to this point in the video of the VOD, I'd like to say thank you for watching. Hope to see you again next time.